Yeah, I've only had one fewer bad early fight. Dang it. So close. That was so close. All right, we'll give it one more shot. Ah, starting over again is frustrating. It's frustrating. We like just ah, we had that one. We had that. Ah. Mm. I would not be surprised if we do get wrecked a third time. Anyway. All right, we just have to dodge. Once again, we have to just dodge the uh, double laser shot. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I'm not sure what. Again, I heard that explained, but I'm not planning on. <laughs> they were. They were going for it. They were going for it. They were going for weapons again. Weapons and cloaking, the two most important systems on this ship. All right, get our crew member. Get our crew member there. Very nice. We need a decoy weapons room. I know, right? All right, let's see what's at the distress beacon. At least there's a lot of nebulas on this first sector. We got a crew member that's worth like 50-ish scrap. All right, we got another crew member. Okay. Well, we have a lot of crew. We need scrap though. <laughs> kind of need scrap more than crew, um, but I'll take it. All right, same thing. That shot will kill them. Well, they hacked our engines, so. All right, once again, we just have to cloak when they fire and hope that they don't hit weapons or cloaking. They did hit cloaking, so they might be able to get another, you know, well, I was like, what am I doing? I have multiple people able to repair, but because of that, they might be able to get another shot off before the glaive fires. I guess we'll find out. Nope, not fast enough. All right, scrap. We need scrap. 13. Well, we are not going to the sun, but we will go to this encounter. And then we might just go straight through the nebula and then around. I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, we might as well ran the scanners. You're right. There's no reason not to. Yeah, good call. Forgot that we had that, actually. All right, well, that actually does help. Knowing exactly when they're gonna fire is kind of handy. So we'll dodge the heavy beam and then, or heavy laser, might as well get 80% dodge chance. <laughs> you know, 80% dodge, right? Uh, now, if I had the upgraded cloaking, I could have gotten uh, out of here before that thing fired, but I did not have the upgraded cloaking yet. I think we can get this before the mini beam fires, I hope. Nope. Thanks, mini beam. Cool. So that happened. So, do they just pick the weapons room every time? <laughs> do they just pick the weapons room every time? <laughs> I, I'm not even going to attempt to play that out. Um... <laughs> I mean, sometimes all you can do is laugh. Um, <laughs> and just every shot is going straight to the wet that weapons room over and over again. All right, this is our last attempt. We've already failed three times. This ship is just an RNG fest. I'm just so annoyed that I messed up the fight when I actually was over. I'd actually like gotten over the hump on the that curve. Anyway, uh, we use cloaking to dodge the burst two here. Not much to say about that last very abbreviated run. 
Okay. Like, they hit me through 80% dodge odds. Next shot was fired at weapons. Next shot was fired at weapons. It's like, okay. Yeah. I guess, guess it do be like that sometimes. Oh. We failed the chance at the double scrap reward, which would have been nice. Because we only got eight scrap from that. Sector 1 does not pay out much in the way of scrap. No, I, I, I mean, I've played this ship before. I know what it's like, so... I mean, you can do the kill shot this way. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure this still kills their ship. Pretty sure this still kills their ship. All right. Again, we have to dodge the heavy. Oh, wait, what the heck? We have to dodge the heavy laser. We just have to make sure we hit all five rooms. Just have to dodge the heavy laser. Yeah, they were going for it again. <laughs> Straight after the weapons room. They were going for it. Now, hopefully, this we kill it before the bomb goes off. <laughs> what is this game? Where, where, like, what is this game? It's a good thing I managed to hit the weapons, but like, two shots, both of them in the weapons room, both times. Like, what? Like, are you kidding me? I, I just sometimes you you just all you can do is shake your head like what like what all right cloaking come on cloaking there we go what is going on three shots all of them at the weapons room and they just hit it 20% odds again what is going on? What is this? You, you gotta be kidding me. What the hell is this? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is FTL just determined for me not to win today? I, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm at a loss for words. Literally, they fired three shots. All of them went at weapons, and the third one hit at 20% odds. Like, what? Like, what is this? Thankfully, I got the beam to hit weapons first. All right. I mean, you guys are watching this, right? You guys are watching this. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? What can I do in these fights? <laughs> like, what am I doing? What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> if you vent oxygen to below 50%, oxygen gets added. Okay, again, I'm not venting oxygen to below 50%. I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I appreciate the explanation, though. I do appreciate the explanation. I, I actually have to move this person, Allison, to the med bay because one more shot on this room will kill them at this point. Okay. I, I mean, okay. Game over. You win, FTL. You win today. <laughs> you win today. Uh... <laughs> I mean, after they've hit the weapons room four goddamn times, I'm not even I'm not even doing it right with my hands. After they've hit the weapons room four goddamn times, then the bomb comes in again on the weapons room. I mean, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you literally kidding me? How can the RNG be that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, yeah, okay. I actually have to quit the game. It's that bad. Um, I, I honestly don't think I've ever seen it quite that bad in terms of RNG. So that's four runs, four losses. Only one that made it past Sector 1. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? I, 
I mean, I have never seen a fight that... The, I don't know if I've ever seen a fight with the RNG quite that bad. That was absurd. Absolutely absurd. All right, something is weird because every single time I reopen FTL, it doesn't display the window. That's utterly bizarre. Anyway. All right, thanks for letting me know. All right, last try. Last try. Again, like I said, it's just frustrating because I actually had gotten over the hump on one of those runs and like the early game hump and then Jesus Christ. I literally don't even have words for that last run. What does declining do? Do we get a fight here? Whatever. I'll take the quest. Alright, this can be a double scrap reward. Oh god, we have a beam drone. That's like the worst like the worst possible thing for us. Actually, let's curve it the other way, so if we get the shot off, we'll kill this immediately. Double beams, oh god. Where is this aim? I don't think this is aimed at weapons, though. Well, that's not much better. Not that dodge does anything for us. I don't... Uh, this might hit cloaking. Let's just cloak now. Oh, it still hit us anyway? Great. The mini beam is going to hit us, by the way. We we don't... Our cloaking doesn't last long enough. We just have to pray that this glade beam goes off. All right, that could have been, that literally could have ended the run right there. We still took six damage, but it act, that was actually a good, okay, we got the double scrap ward. That was actually a good result, like, believe it or not, that was actually good. It could have been much, much, much worse. Double beams is horrifically bad for us. Again, for most ships, that's a very easy encounter because they can't break one shield bubble. Uh, but for us, it's like an instant game over. Double beams on the very first ship, yeah. But we got we got lucky on RNG because it didn't hit. Um, ah, didn't manage to finish the cloaking. Uh, it didn't manage to hit weapons. Thank God. Easily could have. There were many many opportunities for that to hit the weapons room. And we got a double scrap reward, which is great. Got to get up to remember. We have to get to fifty scrap. Um. I mean, I guess we'll take the encounter and then curve down south from there. Okay, well, we know what we have to do. We have to dodge the flak and the heavy laser. Fortunately, these two will fire at the same time. Okay, I don't really have anyone that can go fight you. I guess the weapons guy can go fight you. Well, that does slow down our charge. All right. I need the flak to fire here, too. Come on. There it goes. Okay. Just got that off. All right, come on. All right, now you can come over and help kill this. Okay. All right, Glade Beam should fire before they get another volley off, and then that'll kill them. Okay, that's fine. You can retreat all you want. All right. Whew, another tricky fight. Nice. We almost have enough for the uh, cloaking upgrade already. That's big. We're getting some big scrap payouts here, and that that's... Again, it, accelerating the curve at the start of the game makes such a huge, huge difference. Okay. So far, so good. Haven't taken much damage. Um, we got. I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna keep taking the encounters, and then we can go down to the quest and loop around down here. I think I'm gonna keep taking these. Also, we're avoiding the hazardous areas, which is good. All right, reject their offer. Okay, this doesn't. This. Sh Again, famous last words, this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, can we reach... We want to hit four rooms with this if we can. What's the right... There we go, that's the correct laser shot. That'll kill them. Alright, so again, uh, we just have to dodge these two. Uh, they will fire at roughly the same time, and then we just pray that neither one hits. There we go, okay. I'm uh, pretty sure this is aimed right at weapons. Nope, was aimed at cloaking. Okay. Good job, uh, pilot who is named. Yeah, it's unfortunate we started next to the store. Agreed. 
Although we probably don't have enough scrap to buy shields until the next sector. Because remember, our first upgrade has to be an upgrade to the cloaking system. Alright, this and this will be enough. Oh wow, two more. We can go here, here, and then to the quest, and then down and around. This is this is pretty good. Alright. Okay, so now we've got that. And now we're saving. So far, so good. We're getting a lot of encounters and winnable encounters. Alright, uh, with the upgraded cloaking, we should have enough that we don't take a hit here. So... We'll let this run for a second. And... There we go. That should We should have enough time now. No crew here. Yeah, it's a chain laser, I'm aware, but we should have enough time to before this fires, which should be... It's either an Artemis or one of the other early missile launchers. Oh, it just barely got that off. Uh, can we get out of here before? Ha! Of course. Ah. So I guess we didn't have quite enough time to get that off. It was very close. And of course they went for weapons. It was a Leto missile, okay. I can't tell. I have trouble telling some of the, lead, the ones apart. I think the Artemis we would have gotten out fa fast enough. Alright, 25 scrap. On we go. It's the. <laughs> Alright, this could be a double. Uh, Alright, well, that's not great. But this could be the double scrapper reward, so. Um, I don't know if I. Do I do enough damage to kill this ship? How much health is that? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it has 8 HP. I think I'm going to need 2 beams to kill this, so I think I need to hit their weapons and drones. Alright, so once again, we need to watch and see what it's aiming at. It's... I believe it's aiming at... It's not aiming at anything too critical. I don't... I think it's aiming at the med bay. Oh, we actually dodged it, okay. Ideally, I'd cloak right when this thing fires, but... Alright, that's aiming at the system that's not important. Ha! And of course, we continue dodging these. Perfect. So this is fired, and now we can cloak this. That's perfect timing. <laughs> Good thing we ro we succeeded on our 75% uh, dice roll there. That could have been bad. The ships in Sector 1 max out at weapons 3, so it had to be a Leto because the enemy Artemis is a 2 power weapon. Okay. Alright, so I knew that would not kill them, but we took out all of them and they shouldn't be able to get the, uh, they shouldn't be able to fire again before um, we're charged up, thankfully. We're also losing oxygen here, but we got it. Alright. Yay, double scrap reward. We're getting we're getting much better drops this time than the last couple runs. Alright, already at 47 scrap. That's good. Just need about what, about 80 more? So we're we're saving. We've gotten a lot of fights, and so far the fights have mostly been pretty manageable. The worst one was that initial one with the double bean drones. <sighs> Alright. We even got two piloting evasions there, which was kind of nice. Look at our look at our weapon skill charging up. Yeah, that's another thing that stinks about this weapon setup is you don't get the faster weapons charge any in any kind of decent time because you only get fire one shot per battle. Oh, we actually got healed up. Five hull points repaired. Cool, and we get a, sh a shop. Auto reloader is actually really good on this ship, but we again we have to save. We have to save for the shields. We can't afford to drop 40 scrap this early in the game on an auto reloader, even though it would be really nice. So there's nothing we can do here, but just healing up the hull is a really big deal. That's great. Okay. It's been an awesome sector so far. Only thing we haven't gotten is crew. Alright. Ah, uh, no, this is not as good. Same thing again. We have to take this out. Uh yeah, this is not so great. Uh, what is this aimed at? It's not aimed at weapons or cloaking, so I don't care. I think I'm going to cloak after this shot. Because I do have a... I, I should have enough time to avoid the mini beam going off. 
I think this gives us enough time. Like, I don't think that the... I think that the Glade Beam charges before this runs out. It's close, but I think we have time enough. Just barely. All right. Close fights here again. All right. Pretty close. All right. Well, you might as well repair the doors while we're sitting here. We're going to need to run oxygen again. There's an FPL tournament in works. Interesting. I don't even know how that would work. There are definitely people who are much better at FTL than me, so... I definitely wouldn't win, but I am. I think I'm reasonably good at this game. But there are definitely people who are much better. Alright. We gotta let the oxygen re refill again. How would you even do an FTL tournament? <laughs> Like a way, is it is there a way to like have everybody playing the same uh, random seed to start so you can compare performance or something like that? Gotcha. They play from the same seed. That makes sense. Okay. Well, we're not going to a pulsar, so we'll go to the distress. We'll probably just go here, here, and then to the exit. I guess actually we should go here first. Why not? Might have time to hit one more beacon. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you. Let's see what these options are. I don't know what the blue... I, I know a lot of the events. I don't know these blue options. Thank you. We need to scan this planet for life. Oh, thank you. We need to scan this planet for life. Okay. Terraforming scan. Uh, just says both of them are successful scans. Okay. Just says they're both successful scans. Okay. Um, wait, I was not expecting this. Successful scan, okay. Let's see. So if we leave them to their work, nothing happens. If we take the first one, we have the chance to get some scrap or an oxygen upgrade. I think we'll just take the bribe. I think we'll just take the scrap bribe. Yeah, we'll just take the we just we just need scrap right now. Okay. That was kind of a long sequence, but we'll take it. Yeah, that that was good. 20 scrap is I mean, we're only 45 scrap away now. Okay. We took a little damage and got a little scrap. Uh I believe we can go here before the rebels take the exit. I'm pretty sure we have time enough. <laughs> Stop. All life is valuable. Specifically, it's 22 scrap worth of value. Um, I I think we can go here, but I also think if I'm wrong, the game's over, so I'm just going to go to the exit. It's very close. Give them the requested fight. Oh, wow. 24 scrap. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I chose the... I'm glad I chose to go to the exit. Okay. Well, I like the... I do like the pirate sectors, because we could use some more crew. All right, we only need uh, 10 more scrap to be able to buy shields, and we got a lot of encounters here, so... Then we do have to find a store, and unfortunately, as you said, it's not 100% guaranteed to be there. All right, this should be pretty doable, though. Um, we should... All we have to do here is just charge up and... Our, gla our, our uh, upgraded cloaking lasts long enough for us to get the kill shot here. Because uh, the heavy laser takes 9 seconds. Let's do the math here. Heavy laser takes 9 seconds to fire. We have 15 seconds with the cloak. And then we need 22 seconds to fire this. So we have just enough time to get it off. Alright, that's enough now for shields if, they, if we would find a store. Because it's 125. Okay, well there's a store. Let's go here and then we'll go to the store. And then we, after the store we can... Well, actually, if I go, if I don't go here, I can never hit this encounter. So I probably should go here and then here and then to the store, and then we can head off to the north side. So I think that pathing's a little bit better. Oh, the auto ships do count as having basic weapon manning. I didn't know that. I didn't think they did count for that. Okay. Well, this is literally like the same thing as we just saw in the last round. So. These are the battles you want to get with the Stealth B. These are these are very easy battles. Again, upgrading cloaking is so helpful because that way we don't have to 
survive 75% odds to dodge. We just kill them before they get to do anything. And you're dead. Alright, now we definitely have enough. We can buy stuff and buy shields and still have a little left over. Alright. Crossing our fingers on this store having what we want. Uh, reject their offer. Two heavy lasers. Okay. Oh, they have oh they have cloaking. Okay, so we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to uh, actually dodge with cloaking their shots. At seventy five percent, they went for our cloaking. That would have been bad if they'd knocked out our cloaking. Um, can I kill these guys with one shot? Uh, I believe this will kill them, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's see, this will do 2 and then 3, 3, 3, so 11 HP, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Okay, this should kill them. It's very close. Now, unfortunately, they're going to cloak as well. Because uh, it actually takes longer than a cloak timing for me to get this shot off. Yeah, the cloaking is what makes this dangerous over there. So, as I said, we just have to hope that they don't hit weapons here. Unfortunately, they did not. I mean, they hit their shots, but they didn't land it. So, we uh, kill them when we come back up. Thankfully, I had mathed out that I had just barely enough to kill them there. And we actually need to get oxygen back on. This is actually kind of a, kind of a real problem. Because we have to fix this because we're very low on oxygen and they damage the oxygen system. You need to run in here to heal. Ah, not quite enough. I need to have people cycling through. Like I need to have people cycling through repairing. No, you need to get in there and repair. Okay. We had just enough. Okay, just enough. That was a little closer than I wanted, but it worked. Just, just barely. Uh, no, we were fine. We were we were totally fine, right? No, we were. That was very close. <laughs> Open all doors to even O2. Yeah, I could have done that. Forgot about that. Uh, I I mismicroed the first part of that. It didn't have to be that close. Um, when I because like I had someone repairing oxygen, but then they had to run out to heal. I I was trying to cycle so one person was in the room repairing. So I didn't lose my like half progress, but I kind of avoided that. You could avoid this by just letting the air fill after the previous. I thought I did let the air fill after the previous battle. Did I not let it refill? I thought that I did. Like I'm letting it refill now. I jumped at 50. Okay, I thought that I had done that, but apparently I didn't. Anyway, store time. We'll let the air fill up in here. Okay. Shields, thank goodness. All right. Uh, no, there's nothing. We don't need more beams. What we actually need are lasers. So we can fix up the hull a little bit here. And we definitely need a little bit more reactor power. Okay. So now we're looking a bit better. Uh, next up, we really want another weapon so that when they start showing them with two shield bubbles, we can pop the shield bubbles. So now we have available to run this. We also do want to upgrade shields to level two. Okay, but like now we can go to like a sun and it's not just the end of the game. Yeah, there's another store. Okay. Yeah, we'll try to hit these. Now that we have a shield bubble, going to a sun is not instant death. Because how much fire the sun spreads based on how many shield bubbles you have. All right. Oh, what are they hacking? Uh, I, I actually think I need to hit their weapons because I don't think... That, oh, of course. Of course. So we definitely have to target their hacking. Fortunately, now we don't have to worry about this. We can just uh, use cloaking. I 
Unfortunately, I believe hacking is going to go off before the glaive beam goes off. Yeah, I thought that, that was going to happen. Come on, Glaive Peam. Alright, we took out the dangerous weapon. Okay, cloaking is back up again. I don't care about cloaking. Uh, the only th I don't care about cloaking except if uh, the weapons come back online, because this will lock the bubble. Fortunately, and actually taking out hacking was really important there because the hacking was really annoying here. That's nice. Sleeping Dragon said uh, when he was doing lots of stealth bee runs, Glaive Beam on its own does reasonably well against two shield bubbles. That's good to know. Or if you have two shield bubbles, you can handle enemy ships with two shield bubbles. You're just very vulnerable to missiles and bombs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it works pretty well against enemy ships with two shield bubbles because the first shot you can always hit shields and then that kind of knocks them down to one shield bubble for like the remainder of the shot. But anyway, we got shields. That's really big. Okay. Uh, okay, this is not too dangerous. We just cloak one of the shots and the first Glaive Beam volley should kill them. Unfortunately, we don't still only have the level two engine, so... Yeah, we see we have to cloak this, or else, yeah. I'll just use the mini cloak. But now their weapons are desynced, so they shouldn't be able to do anything again. This shall kill them, and then we just try to get out of here. We're probably going to take the first solar flare. Yeah, we'll take the first solar flare, and not, not much we can do about that. That's not so bad. Let's just get that repaired. That was not bad at all, actually. Come on, all right. All right. Uh, do we want to go down by the store? I think we take the encounter so we can get these nebulas and then we can head down. So the exit's in a good spot here. I don't think we need to store that badly. Uh, does cloaking help with the solar flare? That's a good question, I actually don't know. It does, okay, people are saying yes it does. So I'll have to remember that. Alright, this ship's pretty weak. That shot will definitely kill them. Uh, we just want to make sure that we don't get hit by both of these shots simultaneously. So this will hit our shields. And I'll just cloak this, because why not? Actually, we didn't even need that. We would have been okay. But then this shot kills them. Is that this is a very weak ship. Okay. So now we actually would like to get some more crew. We're, we're at the point where having more crew would actually be helpful. Alright, so right now we're kind of saving scrap in the hopes of finding another weapon. Um, actually, no, we need to upgrade the shield bubbles. We want to have the second shield bubble and we want to get engines up to level 4. Those are basic upgrades. We want to try to do them if we can. So I think I'll get the second shield bubble next. Oh, another crew member. Okay, well, there we go. Cool. Okay, Sleeping Dragon said, does not think cloaking affects the solar flare. Alright, well, here's a chance to hit a pirate ship. A very weak pirate ship, I might add. After all those insanely difficult ships that I was hitting earlier, the game is now like, hey, you want to fight some easier ships? Uh, let's just dodge this so we don't have shields taken out. For the mini beam. Wait, did that hit us through the cloaking? I think it did hit us through the cloaking. Whatever. You're dead. No. Only 12 scrap. That was not great. But it does give us enough to upgrade the shields. Then we need reactor power for them. But uh, probably still worthwhile to do. Because I can always shift power over there. 
Cloak, yeah, it's, okay, it's shields that affect the sun, not cloaking. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this. As I said, I don't think we have power to run, the well, actually we can. We can just turn off oxygen. Who needs oxygen, right? We need to get at least one more reactor uh, bubble. Okay, well, hey, here's a perfect example of when we want to run two shield bubbles. They can't hurt us at all with two shield bubbles, so it's just a free win. Just a free win here. <laughs> the days of being bullied by a single mini me were done. Wait, why did we not get dodge chance on uh, on you? We do still have power in that room. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, because the engines are hacked. Gotcha. Oh, four fuel. Nice. All right, and that's enough for another bar of power. All right. Uh, I would like to get another rank of engines, I think. But uh, otherwise, we can maybe start saving some scrap again. All right, we'll go here because we can see all three beacons. But then we're probably going to go there into the exit. Got a lot of fuel. At least we haven't been hurting for fuel on all these runs. All right, this is annoying because it doesn't give us scrap. Oh, hello. Okay, four of you. That's kind of a lot. Well, we're, we're, we're fine. Actually, let's have you stand in the door room. Yeah, see you later. I don't, I don't really know what the AIs do, the enemy borders are doing, but they seem confused. I'm not quite sure where they're going. As I said, they seem confused. I'm okay with this though. All right, shut that. We got him now. Easy enough. Wasn't. <laughs> Fun with venting. Zoltan would have been better in the door room, agreed. But it worked out. I agree. Zoltans are not good at fighting. We do not have a, a cloning base, so we are not sending exploding Zoltans in to fight. I'm aware that he's a worse fighter, yes. Although they actually do the same amount of damage as humans, but they have, you know, less health. Don't they do the same amount of damage on their attacks, but they just, uh, they're not like NGs. NGs do less damage. Wait, or, oh, this isn't powered. Duh. Uh, they just have less health. NGs do half damage on in combat. Zoltans do full damage, but they only have 70 HP, so they're super frail. So they always lose 1v1 to, like, anyone else. Alright. Ah, uh, cool. Another battle. Long-range scanners. Long range scanners are good to have. We might get another crew member here. Okay. All right. Well, they can't hurt us either. So this uh, the only thing that can hurt us are bomb. That's not true. The bomb can hurt us here, so that is a possibility of taking damage. But um, it's pretty low. And can't we get four rooms with this? There we go. That's four rooms. Got to stretch over to the teleporter. When this thing's about to fire, I'm gonna cloak. Um, there we go. Also, because it allowed me to kill the tell at the border. Welcome aboard. Another crew member. We we're we've been snowballing pretty hard this time. We're definitely way way we're we're definitely pretty far out in front of the curve in this game. It started with all those good scrap rewards in the first sector. I was, yeah, I was just saying the only thing we were missing was crew, but now we just hit some crew. Oh, cool. Free supplies. That's always good. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just save, I, you know, I want to upgrade engines a little bit more. Level 2 engines is kind of bad. Uh, Mantis, our, our ship should be pretty good against Mantises. Weapons probably next. Yep, we'll probably save for weapons. Maybe upgrade engines once, but... Otherwise, we're just saving. All right, uh, sun. We can we can deal with suns just fine. Exit's in a good spot in this, so we're mostly saving, and we do need to upgrade weapons soon because, like, once they start showing up with three shield bubbles, it definitely gets a bit trickier. That's our angle there. Okay, we can deal with you pretty easily. Um. Okay. I suppose you can do that if I move out of the door room. 
Wish I had a backup battery, by the way. It would be really handy. We'll just cloak right now. Good time when they have all their weapons firing. No, I should be pulling their dude back any second now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Get back to your spots. Except you go heal. Although I don't know that we actually have spare power for healing right now. That's fine. Alright, well there goes all their weapons. Okay, now we have spare power for healing. Nice. Okay, so, alright, there's some fires. Let's see what we can do in terms of getting them out. Oh, and you're 1v1-ing in the piloting room? Okay, well, we'll take care of that soon enough. Get somebody to come help out. Next shot kills their ship. They have no weapons left that can really hurt us. You come over here and help with that. You come over here and help put out this fire. Alright. Let's get everybody back to their spots except you stay here and keep repairing. Okay. Nice. Okay. I do want to try to get some healing off on the lower HP units. I'd really like my pilot too, but I want to need to actually get out of here. I need to make sure the cloaking room's fixed too. Okay. All right. So we're fully charged up. You go over here. You can stand in here and be ready to jump us out if the solar flare is about to go off. All right. Um, maybe let's go to the distress because we might not want to jump right into a battle. We're kind of not configured right for that. Um, this one has a chance to lose a crew member, which we don't want to do. What does the dock and try to rescue the survivors? You find the source of the distress call. Find the source of the distress call. The first one I know you have a chance to lose a crew member, so I'm not taking that. The second one is you can take damage. The second one, is, but you have a chance to get a crew member as well. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take the second option here. Our hull's in pretty good shape. Hey, we got the good result. All right, we got another crew member. Let's go. Dr. Jones is aboard. All right, we need to heal some people. Also, I'm a little confused as far as who's who's who right now. I'm going to need to get everybody back to their crew station so I can see who's who. All right. And, yes, we do want to be running oxygen right now. Thank you. No reason to let that run down. If you get hacking early on Stealth B, you can upgrade hacking to level 2. Then you can hack shields, pre-cloak with cloaking 3, and one-shot all ships, which gives you enough time and space to be able to afford shields. That's a little risky, but I suppose, it, I mean, if you can put it together, it sounds awesome. All right, everybody's back to their spots. Oxygen's just about refilled. We actually have 54 scrap. Oh, we got a lot of scrap. Okay, since we're about to get a lot of scrap here, and there's no store in sight, let's do this. Let's upgrade engines a tick. And then we can keep saving for weapons next. I just feel bad having engines at level 2. Like, it's it's very inexpensive to get them up to level the next level. Alright. So, we'll just use cloaking to dodge the missile when it comes in. Obviously, the, we only need one shield bubble for this fight. Also gets us to 85% odds on the cloak. Uh, we Partly that's because our pilots are not our... Uh, we have very little piloting skill at the moment. Are we going to get this shot off before they fire again? No, unfortunately. Five fuel is not bad, but we have a lot of fuel, so I think we're okay. All right, only one down, just not too bad. All right, 19 scrap. And three more fuel is nice. Yeah, they, I knew I would one-shot them, but uh, couldn't quite manage to dodge both shots. Wow, there's a lot of encounters here. This is great. We'll just take this and keep going east. This is just what we want, by the way, is we just want to farm scrap, farm scrap, farm scrap, farm scrap. Oh, hey, look, finally a beam drone is not cause for instant distress. 
We, we do want two shield bubbles, though, I'm pretty sure. All right, cloaking being hacked is not amazing, but we're actually pretty good with just two shield bubbles against this. The only thing is if the uh, bomb would hit something really dangerous. Just have to hope that doesn't... Okay, that's fine. Med bay is whatever. You can go fix that. Yeah, we're pretty good here. We actually have, like, a real ship now. We've, like, hit the point where we have a, an actual ship. Nope. Nice. 23 scrap. Again, we're just... Now we're just saving. Oh, wow. Even more encounters. But we have to take this one. It's going to get swallowed up. I don't think we'll get to this one. A lot of encounters in this pirate zone. Cool. Cool. We got the scrap. Okay, great. Now we got the full sector scan. Okay, so we can go over here to the store and hit these encounter. Oh, ooh. Okay, well, here's the ugly thing is the... Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh. That's ugly. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to the store. As much as I'd like to get to that store, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it there with the way this sector is laid out. That is a very odd ect uh, ending portion. Anyway, well, we'll deal with that when we get there. I would like to kill this mantis. Okay, they actually have a lot of lasers over there. Oh, we got they got the last shot, that's right. Okay. Hit us through the six to hit us through the cloaking, unfortunately. No, okay. That was lower than I wanted to, that to get there. Yeah, pretty dangerous ship in terms of weaponry. Alright, well we took out pretty much all their weapons on that volley though. Yeah, that's not an issue. Hopefully the solar... Okay, that's not too bad. I think with the NG we can put that out. They're super repairing. Ah, unfortunate. Have taken a little more damage than I would like here. But this shot will kill them. Alright, not too bad. I'd like to heal the guys, but I don't know that I have time for that. Uh, okay. Let's get out of here before the next solar flare. All right. And we're out. All right, so we're gonna go, let's see. We go here, 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 here. I mean, we'll try it. This is an ugly, ugly map. This doesn't look anywhere near as dangerous as the last sector or the last encounter. There we go. Hey, Sydney. Sydney's right here with me. Okay. All right, this would be a good time to use cloaking. No, that didn't work. There we go. All right. No reason not to be running oxygen right now. All right, well that was easy enough. Now we can start healing everybody. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we might hit the rebels at the exit here. Um, we have cloaking, so hitting the rebels is not the end of the world. We can probably make do. I think we're going to hit them at least one time. I'm like looking at the map here. I think we're going to hit them here. I'm just not sure if I can get to that store as much as I really want to. Ugh. Let's try to plot this out because this is the turn we have to decide as far as whether we're going there or not. So I'd really like to get to the store. Otherwise, it's here, 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 and then to the exit. Um, 
I think I'm going to hit the Rebels too many times if I go to the store, though. I really, as much as I want to get there, I don't think I can do it. I think it's, I think I just have to go here, then here, and then to the exit. I, I don't want to hit the Rebels like three, three rounds in a row. Dang it. Hopefully we can make it to a uh, store in the next sector. All right. This shouldn't be too bad. Just have to dodge their missile. That's the main thing. I actually think we want to use the triple cloaking this round so we can only face one missile. Actually, we don't even need any shields. 85% dodge. Okay. And that way we don't ever have to worry about this. Nice. Okay. Alright, so now we do want... Well, we would like another shield bubble, but we're not going to get it up in time. We don't have enough power. So this will take that down, which is... You know, whatever. The only main thing is that they don't get another shot of that missile launcher off, which they're not going to. This is the chain. This is the ion that does more ion damage with every shot. It's like the first shot did one ion damage, the second does two, but it's kind of not that great. Oh, okay, cool. We got a little repair. That's actually nice. We were a little low on hull, so that's pretty good. We have quite a bit of um, scrap to spend now, so hopefully we can get something out of store, yeah. I just think the store would have been too dangerous to go to, even though I would have liked to have gone there. Same beam shot again. Shields over to weapons. Alright, but hey buddy, you moved into a room where we can actually 3v1, yo. So have fun with that. Alright. So we'll dodge this with cloaking. Or try to at the 85 percent. All right, you're dead, and I, I don't know if we kill them with the first shot, but we should cripple them. If they survive, it's not going to be with much left over. All right, uh, here's where I wish I could dodge this. I think there might have been an event sequence there, but uh, it's fine. Whatever it was, it didn't happen. It's the ship collectors. What? So what's supposed to happen in that one that didn't happen because I just killed them instantly? There was really no way to avoid that. I guess I could have... Well, I kind of had the glaive beam in mid-animation, so I don't think that there was any way I could have avoided killing them there. So I don't know what's supposed to happen there, but whatever it was, it didn't happen. All right. Yeah, so basically we couldn't get to the store because the exit was had a weird path. All right, this gives us a battle. If you let them run away, you can follow, and it creates a quest marker with a second fight that is a guaranteed weapon drop. Yeah, I think we were too late in the uh, sector for that to happen anyway. All right, so they're going to try to jump away, but we should kill them on the very first shot. Oh, actually, they might be able to get away here because I don't know that we can kill them on this first. Well, no, this will, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Their weapons are not that impressive. It can stick in the next sector. Okay, well, eh. Is what it is. I think we get this shot off before they fire. It's close. Unfortunately, it did not kill them, as I thought it might not. They actually have level 5 shields. Next shot, next shot does kill them though. I wish they, that they had depowered the opposite weapon. Oof, okay, well, we gotta repair that. But fortunately they're not, um, they have no one in the piloting room, so no one's running away right now. Like they're not running away. I can't take the shield bubble down because they still have that. Okay, apparently they don't like my shield room. I'm glad I repaired the shields. And they are charging the FTL, but this next volley does kill them, thankfully. Okay. We also have cloaking up again, so. Oh, wait, what? They still have one HP left. Oh, oh, that's not good. Well, we have our long cloak in play, too. Still alive with one HP. Oof. Well, they're not running, so that's good. They're going to get off at least one more missile volley. Well, 
Well, I suppose that could happen. Might just have to run from this battle. This is yeah, they're they're just gonna jump away, so. That's very disappointing. We left them with one HP. They did quite a bit of damage to us, too. Uh no. That was disappointing. See, because they were gonna run away, and I think it would have doubled the fleet pursuit, which means that the rebels might have caught us. That's disappointing. Well, anyway, hopefully we'll be able to hit a store. We certainly have enough scrap to repair. That's not an issue. We certainly have enough scrap to buy a weapon. If we'd had another weapon, that wouldn't have been an issue either. We would have shot out the shields, and then we would have killed them. Uh, it was just the combination of, we really definitely do need uh, another weapon here. Just any kind of laser will do. But uh, we definitely need another. Okay, you're still not full HP. That was unfortunate. Left alive at 1 HP. I should have counted their HP a little bit better. Well, I guess we're going to a Mantis sector. So cross your fingers for a store. It's actually really important we hit one. Okay, no, we do have a lot of encounters, though. Well... Actually, which way do I want to go? I think I need to go here because it's the only way to see if there's a store at this location. And then we can go here. And then if we don't see anything, we'll head down to the bottom side of the sector. But in case there's a store in that back corner, I kind of need to see what's there. All right. Well, this is not quite what I'm looking for. We definitely have to take out their... Uh, we have to focus their weapons. They're too dangerous. We have to, we're going to have to cloak when the burst goes off. We also might want to wait and time this for... Okay. Um, I really would like to wait until that thing fires. Uh, is this... This might be going for weapons. I think I have to cloak, unfortunately. It was 100% going for weapons, so I had, I had to cloak there. I had no choice. Even though I wanted to wait... We just have to hope that this doesn't hurt too bad. All right, the glade beams charge. I'm trying to wait until an asteroid hits them, and then fire, so as I get the benefit for. Ah, and of course they keep dodging. It actually would help a lot if I could hit them when they have an asteroid hitting them. Um, all right, there we go. Okay, now we can fire. So we took out the burst laser. Okay. All right, we definitely need that shield bubble repaired. Unfortunately, I did not take out all their weapons. All right, well, we do have 25% odds to dodge this. Now we have cloaking back up so we can dodge the next shot of theirs. Uh, and I can kill them if I fire when they have a shield bubble down next time. We'll just take the long cloak. That should buy us time. Okay, or we can get hit at 80% evasion again. Alright, now I just need an asteroid to hit them and they're dead. Asteroid. Just need one asteroid to hit them and they're dead. Just need one asteroid to hit them and they're dead. Just, there we go. All right, thank you, finally. Dangerous fight, again. Again, we got plenty of scrap. We just need to find a store. And there was a store. That's why, it, you know, the, we tend to focus on the fights in FTL and, like, what you do with scrap, but how you route through the sectors is really important. I was looking here, I was like, I, I should go here because just in case there's a store in that corner, like, if I hadn't gone there, there might not have been another store the entire rest of the sector. How you path through the sectors is really important. Okay, there's, there's now the bad news is there's no um, weapons here. That's kind of bad, but the good news is we can fix up. There's backup battery and hacking, which is really big. That's going to make a humongous difference. And we have to fix up the hull. So we didn't get weapons, but um, we, we actually did get way stronger there. That was really, really big. Because now anytime that there's an enemy with um, shields, we can just send a hacking drone over and, and hack their shields off. So that that's going to make the fights a lot easier. Now the tricky thing is timing the shield hack so that it 
uh, hits right when the uh, glaive beam is fully charged. You actually have to pr get that timing down, and I'll probably get it wrong a couple times, but that's really big. Uh, this was the most important system for us to hit. Now we just really just need a weapon. Like, even if we just had, like, a flak, that would almost be enough to complete the game, even just, like, a flak one. Uh, we really want four shots, though, so we can get through all the shield bubbles on the flagship. But that, that was really big. That was huge for us. Okay. So, like, we have 16 drones. We have plenty. Yeah, we definitely want to use a hacking drone here. We have 16 drones. We want to hack shields. want to kill this guy. So I just have to remember to activate hacking at the right moment. Um... A level one hack can get through two shield bubbles. We'll probably try to upgrade hacking to a higher tier later on, but for right now, this is fine. It's the ship collectors again. All right, so we're gonna need to dodge. Actually, you know, if we use if we use the super cloak, we should be able to dodge everything. Uh, I'll, I'll just let's. I don't want to take all my shield bubbles down though. Let's just rely on a level one cloak here. Also, these two should swap. There we go. Okay. That gives us 80% of aid. Too bad we don't get um, pilot training when we get those dodges. Okay. So, we have to activate hacking. Oh, did that guy actually escape? Oh, man. He made it out on one hit point. Okay. Uh, I think right around now is good. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Preparing to make a hasty getaway. Well, <laughs> so much for the ship collectors. As I said, I, I can't really stop the beam. It's kind of in motion. I can't really stop it. Um... <laughs> oh, I have backup battery now. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I got to remember I have the backup battery. Okay. Backup battery is really helpful. Okay, so we don't need to upgrade the reactor in the immediate future because we have the backup battery. What we do need to do is get wet. Oh, wow. There's like an embarrassment of riches here. Okay, let's uh, take these and then we'll loop down and back around to the exit. We have gotten a lot of fights um, because of the long-range scanner, so we're kind of still out in front of the curve. We've also gotten some double scrap rewards more than once. All right, we're, we'll definitely hack the shields again. They don't have anything to stop it. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, it's handy having these guys that just can run in and kill the mantises. Okay. So we'll just cloak through the initial missile. Uh, we don't really need much in the way of shield bubbles for this fight, so I think I can do the super cloak. Remember, we and and I will remember we do have the backup battery, so that's nice. We can use that for hacking. In fact, now's probably a good time to turn it on. And we're not quite time to turn on hacking. It's like when it's like 80% 80, 80 full, we we'll start shield hacking. Oh, shoot. Ah, I had it click to auto go. Dang it, we could have killed them instantly there. That's my bad. I had it click to auto go instead of waiting until the hacking was fully enabled. Okay, that's a micro mistake. Um, but it is what it is. We're still, we still have them pretty much dead. The only thing they have is this Ion. Uh, ion Stunner, which is, can't do anything against one shield bubble. So we're, we're fine, but um, I, I need to get my micro tactics down a little bit cleaner than that. I should not have had the Glaive Beam on auto fire. I had it just set to auto fire. I had to, I, I needed to wait until the, I also can use uh, hacking just a touch earlier. Oh, repair burst, okay. Oh, hey, we got a hull repair, okay. The repair burst is cell bait, um, there's no need for that on this particular ship, but still, it's something it'll sell for money. So, yeah, we're just saving until we can find another weapon. And then anything that is a gun that we can point at the enemy ship and pop shield bubbles. Uh, repair Burst is used for uh, ground combat. It heals your units. It's on the Slug C which is a boarding ship that doesn't have a cloning bay or a med bay. It's famous for the slug, well, famous, but well-known for the slug, uh, slug C, I believe it is. So yeah, it, uh, it heals all, oh no, wait, this, this heals system damage? Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of heal bomb. So this 
repairs a system. Interesting. I actually don't know that I've ever used this before. So it instantly repairs a damaged system, huh? Okay. Uh, anyway, I wouldn't mind this, but I don't like where this one puts me, so we'll go here. Repairing all system damage. Yeah, that's a very niche, uh... Oh, wow. Apparently they like their beam weapons over there. I don't think that we have to, um, use a hacking drone here. I think we're okay. This is not that scary. Um... We just have to make sure that the uh, laser does not pop a shield bubble when the halberd beam fires, and that should be pretty easy to avoid that. We can use cloaking to dodge if we have to, but I don't believe that their stuff even lines up properly. Not on the first rotation, at least. Okay, well, I didn't expect them to run, but that's fine as well. We can always hack piloting if they look like they're going to get away. But uh, yeah, we seem, to, we seem to have this one pretty easily. This was a pretty weak enemy ship. Too bad there's no way to get crew kills on, uh, as you said, this is a terrible ship for getting crew kills. That's a terrible scrap reward. That's much better. Oh man, I wish I could get there, but I can't. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so there may be another shop in this sector, but typically the red sectors only have one shop, so I'm glad I hit the one that I did. But we'll just keep saving scrap. I mean, we, we will need more scrap in time. Uh, this ship looks more dangerous, so we'll look to um, hack the hack this one. Still would prefer to hit shields, though. Oh, actually, never mind. I, that, the, the whole point was I don't want to line up a hack. Uh, I don't want to line up the beam ahead of time. I have to wait and manually fire it. Alright, we'll have fun with that. Um, for this one, I think we use cloaking to dodge the missile. Okay, here you go. Oh, I thought you'd actually run in here. No? Okay. We'll have fun with that. Okay, uh, this seems like a good time to cloak. All right, so we're gonna need to use high. This should be about right. Oop, there we go. And I still need to do it slightly sooner. Oh wow, I actually missed missed the timing on that again. But we took all their dangerous weapons offline, so that's all that matters. Okay, close that. Um, I guess we don't technically need more than one shield bubble for the moment. I did, I did invest a lot of power into the super cloak, so. All right, you guys can go back to your normal spots. All right. One nice thing about hacking things like weapons and uh, shields is um, it locks the doors, so it's hard for the AI to repair them. There we go. Gorilla said, I've only powered the repair burst once when I was running from an ASP without cloaking and needed them not to disable my piloting. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of encounters here. I think we'll take this one. Because we're going we're gonna to need to loop up to... We, you know, we probably can dive past the exit in this one without much trouble. Because we have cloaking, and we can easily upgrade engines to level 4 or level 5. Okay, we could avoid this battle, but we don't want to avoid this battle. We want to fight things. Want to get that sweet, sweet scrap. All right, in the med bay. That may not have been the best place to beam into, buddy. All right. Um, they have two shield bubbles. We have... Okay, we got a billion hacking drones. We got a billion drones, so I don't feel bad about using this. All right. Uh, we definitely need a cloak here. That was mismanaged by me. I needed the cloak sooner. They actually had quite a few guns that were uh, coordinated there. That was a mismanaged sequence by me. I needed the cloak sooner. Oh, and, and now I'm just need to hack much sooner. There we go. Okay. But even with me mismanaging the fight a little bit, it still went reasonably pretty well. I have some pretty good tools available at this point. I, we have, yeah, we have a lot of, lot of, lot of tools at hand. 
Uh, assuming we make it to the end of this run, we're going to have a ton of scrap because we've been... We've had long-range scanners, and we've gotten just a ridiculous amount of fights the whole game. All right, that's an empty encounter, but we could go... Uh, I think I want to go here, because then I have the chance to see all these beacons back here. But I think I might want to upgrade the ship a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get an engine upgrade. We'll go ahead and just take that, because we have enough scrap to buy weapons without much issue right now. We are only in Sector 4. And, like, we have level 3 cloaking plus hacking already. Alright, this ship looks a bit scary. Uh, well, the only thing we really like to do is dodge the missile. But, again, until we actually get another... We we won't need to use these uh, hacking drones as much until we actually get a weapon that can pop shield bubbles. Which we should get sooner or later. Alright. And you guys can come wait for this guy when he gets through. We just need to use cloaking to dodge the missile is about all. Okay. Shut the doors. Just waiting for that to fire. We actually got a dodge. Oh, he actually teleported back. Okay, we'll have fun there, that bud. All right, Glade Beam's almost charged. Let's try hacking slightly earlier this time. This said, I think I've been hacking a little too slow in most of these fights. Ah, for some reason that time it didn't drain them all away. Interesting. I don't know quite why that was. Anyway, though. So, we definitely need to cloak here. Alright, we, we depowered the only weapon that's scary. Oh, hi there, bud. Yeah, we depowered the only weapon that's scary, so we're good. Oh, I forgot we actually were in a... Solar Flare here. I actually forgot about that. So we have to make sure the Glaive Beam does not get depowered. Unfortunately, it didn't. Okay. Now everybody can get back to their default spots. I mean, I guess I might as well use hacking here. Why not? There you have, now you have no shields, and you're dead. Okay, let's try to get you guys that are damaged healed while we can. Before the next solar flare goes off. Okay, yeah, we got. I mean, we, we're just we're racking up a ton of scrap for this early in the game. Trying to heal up before the next flare goes off. Okay, we managed to get most of the team healed. I think we'll go to the distress signal and then head up here. We'll hit the rebels. Oh, actually, we could go. Uh, yeah, we can go here and then here and then here and then to the exit. That'll be fine. We have enough time to get there. Level 1 hack is 50-50 to drain two shield bubbles. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's uh, good to know. Well, we... Okay, once again. Until we get a weapon, we're going to keep hacking shields over there. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, what's dangerous on this ship? We actually are finally starting to get some dodges. We almost have maxed out piloting and... Uh, well, the first rank of piloting and engines. Almost. I think we need to just dodge the... Uh, Okay, dodge both of these. I think we just need the tier one. Because I want to keep high levels of shielding and engines for this fight. Alright, let's hack now. Okay, that timing was about perfect. Uh, and I'd rather take out your weapons than your shields here. Without your weapons, you're just crippled and we can kill you on the next volley anyway. Alright. Alright. You might as well go heal, because why not? We've got a minute here. This enemy ship's completely crippled. We could probably stay here and try to farm dodge chances by uh, just letting the asteroids hit us, but I'm not going to do that. All right. Asteroid just hit, so goodbye. Look at that. We actually also f laboriously ch charged up our weapons here, right? 41 out of 58. Now you can finally heal. Shields are halfway there. You actually have halfway bonus repair skill. Oh, this guy apparently... Had en I didn't know this guy had engine skill. I would have put this guy in the engine room. Oh, well. I'm fine with our NG being there. The NG provides the extra power bar. All right. Distress. Still hoping to find a store to spend some of this. Uh, we are 
not going to deal with the giant alien spiders, which has a chance to kill your crew. We're not going to deal with the giant alien spiders. Okay. Ah, all right. So now we're going to hit the rebels. So let's get level five engines. And we still have 130 scrap to buy weapons with. Plus the repair burst that can sell for like 20 scrap. All right. Uh, the good news is they have the Vulcan of... Uh, Suckiness. I don't know how to put it. The Vulcan's terrible. So we should be fine to get out of here. Okay. Just fight these guys. You can rotate in. Actually, both of you guys can be ready to rotate in. We have the long cloak. Okay, good. We dodged that. Very nice. And we have the extended cloak, so we'll just cloak any second now. This should be plenty. Get us out of here, no problems. We have 15 seconds of cloaking. Even kill some of the crew while we're at it. Yeah, there goes the ASB. Easy enough. Uh, we'll go Mantis Homeworld, because why not? So the only store we saw was that one at the very beginning of the sector. So I'm really glad I hit that one. I was like, I, I did in fact scout every single beacon in that sector. Um, over the course of traveling through there, I did see every single beacon. So, uh, we were the store was in a really awkward location. It would have been super easy to miss if we had not hit that store. Then we prob there was a good chance we would have just died in this sector if we hadn't found that one. Anyway, so we were not able to get a weapon in that sector, but we did get engines up to level five. We also would like to get the third shield bubble, but I really want another weapon first. Okay. Hopefully the store is not up here, because that's going to be very awkward. I think I have to go to the encounter. Yeah, very red galaxy. I would have preferred going to like a green sector, because they have more stores. And now we're... Actually, you know what we need to do? We probably need to upgrade hacking next to hacking level 2. Because hacking level 2 will get through at guaranteed two shield bubbles. And I think that's what we need. So I think that's my next... Oh, wow, double mantises. This is going to be... A little tricky. We're gonna have to rotate people in for this. Uh, they have a lot of lasers over there, but so they're not firing them in sequence. We just have to make sure that they don't fire this while the shield bubbles are down. Also, Owl, you guys hurt. You can stand in here for the moment. Have fun with that. Are we gonna, we're probably gonna have to cloak when all this stuff is coordinated. All right. This feels like a cloak to me. Awful lot of stuff firing right now. All right, good. We got through the second shield bubble. Is this the same encounter yet again? I'm running out of people to throw at these mantises. Okay. Well, they're delayed for the time being. All right, we need to heal some of you. <laughs> Those mantises put a beating on us. Level attack two hack gets through even three shields. Yeah, that's our next upgrade. In fact, I'm gonna do that after this fight, as soon as I get done with this, because that's my way through three shield bubbles. But I don't have infinite um, drone parts, so I do really want to get an actual weapon at some point. All right, well, once again, they were about to jump. Okay, they beamed into the medbay, sure. Have fun with that. All right. Uh, this should kill you. All right. Yeah, kind of a tough battle from a boarding perspective. <laughs> These two mantises kept flying in here. A good thing I have six crew. Like, El Nub Nub is almost dying even though he's standing in the healing bay. Mantis are no joke. This guy Jones almost has his skill upgraded. Alright, so our pilot does have piloting skill upgraded and we're uh, two evasions off engine being upgraded. Alright, as we said, so unless there's a store right here, which there is not. Upgrade hacking and we need another power bar so we can make use of that. Alright. Well, uh, 
unfortunately, we really don't have a good way to scan the top part of the map. I guess we can go here, because that'll at least reveal these two. And then maybe I can get up to the top. The top does lead down, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's not many stores in this galaxy, because almost every sector has been a, a red sector. All right, yep, yeah, well, we're going to just continue relying on the hacking drone for right now. Just make sure we do the level 2 hacking, which will punch through all of their shields. But then I have to initiate the hack sooner. All right. I have to initiate the hack a little bit sooner because it takes longer to drain through three shield bubbles as opposed to two. So let's try when it's... I don't know. At least their weapons aren't too scary here. I think about now, actually. Let's try it and just see. I got him back. Oh well. Jones, you can go heal. Alright, I so that was too soon. I used, initiated the hack too soon that time. Because I'm not going to have this up in time. So I still did a lot of damage, but I, I initiated it too soon. I just need to practice the timing a little bit. We still took out all their weapons. Um, but I think I could have... I, think I, I actually could have one-shotted them with the, that first glade beam if I had timed it correctly. Still, not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Okay, shut the doors. Although I do need to start using it now, if I'm going to. Okay, that was good to dodge that. Alright, goodbye. Doors and medbay upgrades would also be good, but uh, I do still need to... Um, I do still need to upgrade, get weapons at some point in time. Okay. Uh, you stand in here and get us out. Okay. Alright, still no store. Store is probably on the northern side of this area, unfortunately, which I have, like, no place to get to. Alright, we have enough fuel that I think we can make that trade. We had double digit, which is usually, like, do you have enough? Okay, yeah, um... I think I have to continue taking these encounters, although the uh, we're like literally seeing half the map here. So if there are shops at any of these sectors, a beacons up here, we're in trouble. Uh, but you know what we can do? We can upgrade. Uh, if we get one or two more fights, I'll just upgrade the shields to level six. Yeah, the glaive needs to be out two thirds charged. I think that's right. But I mean, we continue getting these fights. At some point, we're gonna find a store. All right, they have, this only has two shield bubbles, um, but their weapons are pretty good, so. Like I said, we can start saving up the drones once we have weapons. All right, well, they went in the med bay, so yeah, have fun. That at least makes fighting these guys a little bit easier. So we'll just cloak when they fire the big burst here, like, like so. Ninety-seven percent evasion, yeah. Now we're at the point where we don't have to sweat out these dice rolls. All right, this should be about right. I was doing the hack as though I had, it was level three shields. All right, well that is gonna take out pretty much their whole ship. There, there goes their shields. And all their weapons. Well, I guess they still have one weapon intact, so. Farm some dodges. Their ship looks pretty messed up over there. The only thing that could happen now would be as if their bomb hit um, hit our, uh, our weapons. So I'll probably try to cloak that if I can. When it's about to go off. Because we can. Might as well. Got a lot of tools to play around with on this build. Alright, yep, more scrap. Okay, everything looks good. We'll go here and see. Again, I'd like to get to the top side of this map, but I don't know if there's an easy... I guess I can go up here and see, even though I'll have to double back. But it was like, I have to either do the top or the bottom side of the map. There was like no in-between. Oh, Pulsar, okay, that's a little scary. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit scary. Well... If the Pulsar hits our Glaive Beam, then we're running out of this battle as fast as we can. Um, but hopefully, 
Maybe we should actually have hacked weapons in this because the, the Pulsar will take out their shields. I don't know, maybe that was a mistake, but... Okay. Well, we'll see. You need to be ready to swap in for the poor Zoltan. Alright. We can cloak through some of these. That's not going to do anything. Alright, you need to rotate out. Um, we actually, I think, need to cloak this because we only have the one shield bubble. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see what happens with the first shot. Alright, we dodged the first shot, so we do not need to cloak. That's good. And I think we want to start hacking around now. Okay, it took out their shields, took out our shields. I guess we didn't really need that hacking. Alright, but here's the good news. We still have cloaking up. So let's go ahead and use that, because they, they got a shot in en route right now. Um, they still have weapons online over there. I think it might be better to take this surrender. This is a decent surrender. Like, they're still going to be alive after this. This is not going to kill them. So I think we'll take this and just get out of this battle, which has the potential to... I mean, it, like, it went well so far, but trust me, this had the potential to go very badly. I guess we still do need to get out of here. All right, well, yeah, apparently the next uh, Pulsar was going to take out our weapons and our shield, so I'm very glad I took that Surrender offer. All right, let's get you healed up to full, and then... Okay, I think we can get out of here now. Yeah, we can get out of here now. All right, yep, and it looks like we're going to have to go to the top side of the map and end up doing some doubling back. All right, oh, wait, our cloaking is still offline from that... Okay, well... Uh, wow, they got a lot of weapons over there. A lot of weapons over there. They're not boarding us, though, which is interesting. I need to get that third shield bubble. I can definitely afford it. We'll just have to cloak if they fire all this stuff together. I have all this power tied up in uh, cloaking. Okay. All right, got some good dodges there. All right, now the cloaking power is back. Uh, not quite time to hack yet. Give it another couple seconds. We definitely need our shield bubbles up. Uh, this should be about right. I guess that was slightly too early. And let's cloak so we dodge the last couple shots. Okay. Did we get it? Oh! Double stores! Hello! Double stores! Okay. Well, we got a lot of scrap to spend. <laughs> Vulcan? Would we actually want the Vulcan here? I don't think that we do, but uh, let's let's just think about it for a second. Could we actually run Vulcan plus... Like, would this actually work? Because the, the big downside of the Vulcan is it's such a slow, slow, slow weapon. It's an incredibly slow weapon, but the, the Glaive is also an incredibly slow weapon. Would this actually work? It is slot efficient, but I would need four power... I know, but like, I do have 281 scrap here. I think I could... I know the Vulcan is pretty terrible. <laughs> I mean, the safer play is just buy the freaking whole laser. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that they actually... I don't think that they actually... It's interesting, but I actually don't think they synergize together. I think it's just buy the whole laser here and then get, like, a flak or a burst laser for the last slot. Yeah. As, as much as it would be interesting, I really don't think that these two have any... Well, I mean, they have a little bit, but... The problem is any ship with cloaking ruins this setup like immediately yeah it's terrible for any ship that is cloaking so we'll just take this instead all right uh we should also get the drone control here i think while we can i have options to get defensive drones and stuff later okay 
All right, we also have the chance to sell... We don't care about the system repair gen. We don't care about the repair bomb. So, next up, we want to make sure we get this weapon in play. We will need a little bit more power for it. And then next up, we're upgrading shields. Okay, now we hopefully don't have to rely on hacking every single round. And while we're here, we'll get a little fuel too. And we're apparently uh, running out of oxygen while we're at this store, so let's let that go. <laughs> it's like, please turn on the air. Uh, the store did not have much of anything on page. It had systems and crew. We definitely don't need more crew. We're good on crew. But uh, next up, we need to upgrade uh, shields to the third shield bubble, which is only 100 scrap. So that was great. We uh, currently have a drone system that doesn't have any drones attached to it, but we should be able to find a defensive drone. Also could have done mind control, which I guess would have been funny, but um, we're, this is a, as we said before, this is a ship that's exceedingly bad at killing enemy crew. All right. I mean, there's another store up there. Um, I guess we'll go here and then to the exit and then up to the store. It's been a very unfortunate... Um, set up for oh okay well we got apparently we have a billion missiles to spend too all right i think we went the blue option here excellent it just gave us the encounter all right so now we don't have to hack shields every time for a ship like this that's not that dangerous i think we can just rely on uh shooting we, i mean we really only need to hit one out of two shots if we hit both shots it's better but like, it's not the end of the world if we only hit one out of two. Alright, we are going to need to swap in. Oh, okay. So, we definitely need to cloak this. Might as well get that 92. Oh, it was aiming for the piloting room. Okay. Might need to swap in the NG over here as well. But I think that they're about to pull their dudes back. Okay. And I let the missile... Okay. Well, they're going to get another shot with that thing, which is unfortunate. So you come on back here to the piloting room. Oh, you know what we can do? We can hack uh, We can hack their weapons so they don't get the weapons charge off. That's That'll save it. That's worth a drone if it avoids us from taking damage. Yeah. Yeah. You wanted to get that shot off, but guess what? You're not going to get that shot off. Okay. We don't need shields at the moment, so we can get extra dodge chance. Yeah, just pack their weapons so they don't get another shot off. That seems very worthwhile to use a drone. And, we, now, and now we have cloaking back up, so we can dodge with cloaking. That works, but we're not going to need to cloak. I still fired too early. Not bad, but we'll just kill you instead. Still fired too soon. Yeah, 42 scrap was good there. Nice. Yeah, the, the hacking, again, hacking's so good, because, like, we were using it to hack weapons before, but, like, we can just, as needs dictate, we can just swap over to something else. We also al almost have enough to get the uh, shields upgraded. So even though this has been a weird sector in terms of pathing, it's still been pretty good. Now, maybe we can get one more. Okay. Uh, Flak 2 actually does have some synergy with this setup, too, but burst laser's fine. Oh, anyway, let's get the defensive. Oh, we're one off from defensive drone and... Burst laser. Oh my god. We're so close to get we could oh, we're so close to being able to buy both of them. Oh, we're one scrap off. That's really crazy. Uh, uh we can fit another weapon in that slot, but we do want the defensive drone, so I'll take that between the two. Shouldn't have bought that extra fuel. Alright, maybe that maybe we can get some scrap here and then get back to the store and buy that. No, I'm not selling long range scanners, not with three sectors still to go. It was Sector 7, but it's still they're still way too valuable to sell them. All right. Time to rumble. Let's go. Let's rumble. 4v2. Probably still going to need to transfer who's tanking around. Anyway, this is not a particularly dangerous fight. Uh, the Burst 3 is the only thing that's somewhat dangerous. All right. All right. Okay, that wasn't quite what I wanted. What the heck? That is not the way I thought they would stand in that room, but okay. Well, they have no way to heal their guys, so... Alright. 
We'll just cloak through this. There we go. God, that glaive really does take forever to charge. All right. But since these weapons over there are not terribly dangerous, it's pretty straightforward. All right, now we've knocked out every... Okay, wait, what? You're bringing more dudes over. All right. Time to rumble, part two. Let's go. Unfortunately, you brought a weak NG over this time. We're actually pretty close to crew killing them. This guy has one hit point left. Well, they just ran away again. Okay, whatever. My weapons guy is uh, healing. Have fun with that glaive beam. <laughs> All right, that wasn't that... Wow, 40 scrap. Very nice. That wasn't that tough of a battle. Well, now I guess we can go back and buy the uh, burst laser. And then we have everything we need to complete the game at that point. We might be able to get another weapons upgrade. But we really just need four shots plus glaive. That's plenty. <laughs> o2 hack. We might, Yeah, we actually... You know, we probably could have killed the crew by just hacking oxygen. We do have level two hacking. But uh, all right, back to the store. For that burst laser. And then we really do need to upgrade the shields. <laughs> Where is it? Here we go. All right. And then we really do need... Uh, obviously, we can't oh, get to weapons to level 8 just let. Um, yeah. Okay. Back to the exit. Where we're just going to get out of here. All right. Uh, as I said, we don't need to try to kill this ship. We're just going to get out of here. So they're not boarding us. We'll just use the cloaking to dodge. We can use cloaking to dodge everything pretty easily here. Just waiting for this missile to fire. All right. Nine, we have 99% dodge chance. All right. The, the super cloak should get us past the ASB. No problem. Yep, there it goes. That was an early ASP. The ASP timing is not the same every single uh, time it fires. That was about as early as it can pop up. All right. Well, do we feel strong enough to do Abandoned? We've gone to an awful lot of Mantis sectors. I think we're probably strong enough to... Although I do wish I had an extra shield bubble. Uh, abandoned sectors do give you more loot, but they're also harder to deal with. Um, and I like to like to attack your crew uh, it's risky we have an end game weapon set up though so okay we'll risk it more interesting for the stream all right but uh, I will feel much better with a third shield bubble I will feel a lot better with a third shield bubble okay apparently that's the only way to get to that beacon but we don't need to hit like a store desperately so I think we'll go to the distress beacon because we get more options I mean, we're going to attack, obviously. What are they hacking? Not weapons. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these weapons are both super slow, and we can... They only have two shield bubbles as well. Uh, we can just use cloaking to dodge these, the flak 2 and the burst 3, so we should be okay. I'm waiting for that flak... Actually getting some great dodges here. Okay. And yeah, we dodged that incredibly well. Okay, we only got one out of two to hit, but that's okay. Uh, can we hit five rooms with this? We can hit four. We'll just hit the important rooms. I don't actually need to hit their cloning bay. Okay. Um, we could we could use hacking to make sure that they don't get another shot off, but I'm not that worried about this. We do have pretty good dodge chance. They will probably get a, sh a point or two of damage through, though, just FYI. Yeah, and again, that's the nice thing about having upgraded weapons, is now our glaive does not get knocked out by that. As it would have otherwise. Alright, so one point of damage is fine. Oh, wow, what a huge scrap reward. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and finish repairing this. You go heal, because you took a small amount of damage. Alright, we want the third shield bubble, and then, um... I gotta remember I have the defensive drone, too. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I had that. Oh, yeah, that's what we want to see. Okay. 
Now we can get the extra shield bubble. We might not have taken that point of damage if we'd had that. Alright, more fights. Let's kill some uh, Lanius, whatever they are. So, this doesn't look too scary. Uh, we just need to avoid this. I think it's worthwhile to put a defensive drone up for this. Because they're going to... Um, that thing's going to fire a lot of shots. Alright. Oh, I... It would have been nice to have powered the hull laser. Good job, defensive drone. Yeah, I gotta wait for the stupid hull laser to fire. Also, we apparently maxed out our dodge. We almost have our weapons with the faster charge. Nice. Hit both shots. Excellent. Although I don't have the drone powered right now, so I need to cloak this shot. I uh, depowered the defensive drone temporarily. Alright. So we messed them up pretty good. We got their missile launcher offline, which is the only thing that's dangerous in this battle. I don't think I need... All three shield bubbles. I think two is okay for right now. Oh, never mind. They actually repowered this. Well, I'm glad I have the defensive drone. Uh, we want to make sure we're powering this. All right. No. Uh, they still have a missile, and in... oh, we got the defensive drone. Let's get some more dodge chance here. All right, good. We shot it down. Stun bomb. We're not going to use that, but that's cell bait. Cool. All right. Now we do need more reactor power for this shield. Now we can go back to now. Now we can start uh, trying to get weapons to level um, uh, eight. Well, let's uh, get back to farming that scrap. So the oh, you're right. The burst laser is faster. Ask if they require assistance. Okay. Burst laser is faster, but the whole laser. Um, can do additional damage. It doesn't really matter which one. I guess the burst laser is slightly better, just because it charges faster. In a situation where they're both charging from the start of the battle, it doesn't have much of an effect. Okay, ow, that's slightly annoying. We'll fix that, though. So we definitely need a cloak here. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to cloak after that thing fired. Cloak before it fired like an idiot. That was a missed timing. All right, well, the good news is I took out their weapons anyway, even though I misplayed that battle horribly. Okay, apparently they don't like my pilot. Geas, go heal. <laughs> All right, well, you guys are dead. That's a terrible surrender offer. 46. Yeah, you do get a lot of scrap for killing these Lanius ships, I'm not going to lie. So now we're just saving up scrap to upgrade our weapons. There's not much point until we have uh, the double upgrade, which is 190. But if we're getting like 50 per battle, and we're getting all these battles, um, it, we might have it by the end of the sector. Power weapons to attack. Destroy and strap it. Okay. I'm just taking the option that gives me a fight. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. How can we use hacking in this battle? Um, uh, we might want to hack... Actually, it might be good to hack shields in this battle. Again. Just because this ship's a little annoying. Fortunately, we can get a really good cloak to dodge all this stuff. And I just want the cheap cloak. There we go. All right, so we can use this and this on hacking. We won't use a defensive drone. And I think this is a good time to use right around now. It's like the whole laser can hit their weapons too. All right. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I was not expecting that to kill them. I'll take it, though. 
Yeah, that was a good use of a hacking drone. Okay. We just kind of tore right through the middle of this sector, getting fight after fight after fight. All right, I don't think we need to use a drone here. They only have two shield bubbles. That's not too too bad. Unless they hack... Okay, they hack cloaking, which is annoying, but the, uh, it, the hack on cloaking will not be up when this missile fires, so we should be okay. Also, we only need two shield bubbles for this fight, so we can use the extra dodge chance. But, like, see, right now we want to cloak and have a 105% dodge chance, so... If they would get a chance to fire again... Nice. Apparently they forgot to bring evasion. <laughs> Jesus. I forget how much damage the glaive beam actually does if you get all the shield bubbles down. If you get all the shield bubbles down, it does an absolute truckload of damage. Alright, now the bad news is we're out of fights for the moment. But hopefully not for long. As we try to get the burst laser up. Alright, uh, yeah, we can do this. More scrap is more scrap. Getting close to being able to take weapons to level 8. And we still have all of Sector 7, too. Alright, obviously we're going to fight the ship. So they have cloaking as well. Oh, and they have mind control, too. That's annoying. And Alright, now this is the most dangerous fight we've had so far because of the boarding element. Oh, yeah, of course they're going to come in here to help. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we definitely need a defensive drone here. Uh, we only need two shield bubbles. I don't think we need hacking, but we're probably going to need a defensive drone. Okay, good news. We dodged one and shot down the other one. That's good. The fact that they ran into the weapons room is pretty bad, though. This is not where I want a big uh, fight going on. Uh, does this help avoid the air loss? I'm going to need to move some of these guys out. Okay. Um, this might be a good time to cloak, to be honest. Oh wait, but they can't teleport out. I actually kind of want them to teleport out of the ship. Well, I'll still do it anyway. Alright, you guys are very close to dying. Wait, did I just lose somebody? Oh, crud. I just had somebody die there, didn't I? Uh, One of my guys just died. That was not what I wanted. Oops. Um, So that just happened. Uh, we don't have anyone charging the weapons, so we're getting the slower charge. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is the kind of battle that I didn't want to have happen. They just broke doors. Now, they should teleport back to their ship any second now, because they're very low on health. They just teleported one of their guys back. Really don't want them to take out oxygen here. But like my guys are very low. They're gonna fire everything as soon as their cloak comes out. Fortunately I have cloaking back up, thank god. That was a lot of stuff that they fired. Okay. Alright. Their mind control should wear out. Um, we also need to make sure that we kill this ship quickly. So we're going to employ a piloting hack here. To ensure that this shot, these shots hit. Alright, I think we can... Can we kill this ship with... I don't know if we can kill this ship with one volley. I don't think I have quite enough damage for that. But I can take out weapons, mind control, and teleporter. Alrighty. Uh, hopefully we can kill these guys. Now, let's see if we can fix up the ship after all the damage that we took. Unfortunately, they're, ch uh, they're trying to get away. I don't know if I can... S oh, okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Defensive drone. Dodge chance. Nice. We have pretty good luck at dodging these missiles so far. Uh, we do have the hacking on uh, piloting. But I don't think I can stop them from getting... Yeah, I don't think I can stop them from getting away. Which is unfortunate, because they killed one of my guys. Um, this is crew event. 
Yeah, I don't think I can stop them, unfortunately. They're just gonna jump away, and they have missiles incoming, too. Well, let's just hang out here and see. Well, there goes all our piloting. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not so bad. I not, not wasn't worth losing a crew member over, but something. At least we got something. Who did we actually lose? Not weapons. It was one of our people who ran around fighting. So that's the crew that we could afford to lose, but still. I might have to now buy a crew member, potentially. All right, that was a nasty fight. That was pretty pretty nasty. I just uh, I, I underestimated how quickly they were dying. The thing that really hurt us there is uh, the mind control hit the weapons room, so they ran into the weapons room to fight to start, which is like the worst place to be because I couldn't just like I don't really care if they're punching like the drone room or something, but when they're punching the weapons room, I have to do something about it right away. And they had my mind controlled guy in in there too. All right. Anyway, we made it through without too much trouble. All right. Well, we'll go here, here, and then to the northern side of the sector. But while we're at it, we might as well get our other weapon in play. Just going to make our offense a lot better. All right. By the way, is this sector six or sector seven? I actually can't remember. <laughs> this does not look nearly as bad. Um, Just want to make sure we have plenty of dodge chance here. Okay, we failed to dodge every... S oh, we lost our shield guy. That, that's what we lost. Okay. So you should be in the shield room. Uh, we failed to dodge every single shot, but it didn't end up mattering. Okay. Okay, well, we only hit two out of four shots, but... All right, Jones, you can start getting some uh, shield skill, I guess. Yeah, we did a little damage to them. Fortunately, they went off to repair the shield room. Anyway, we'll try to get... All right, you're dead. We'll try to get another crew member back at some point. All right, 40 scrap. I'm going to make sure I have enough that if I would see a store, I can actually buy something. But I do need to get another power bar. Okay, another rebel fight. All right. Anyway, our ship is pretty uh, pretty loaded at this point. I, I could try to upgrade these weapons further, but what I have is more than enough to complete the game. Can we fire the lasers twice before the beam? Um, it's close. I don't think I quite have enough because the whole laser is 14 second charge up time. Um, let's just make sure we have some additional dodge chance there. Okay. I don't think I have quite enough time to do that. And against a ship like this, it's unlikely that I would hit every shot anyway. Okay, well, yeah, they got pretty wrecked by that volley. So yeah, we, uh, we, we, we got out in front of the curve on this particular run. Um, and it's been pretty smooth sailing for the most part. I also avoided some of the insane bad RNG from some of those other runs. <laughs> Oh yeah, second volley is... Okay, oh look, there's a store here. Okay, that's good news. Might be able to get... As I said, I wouldn't mind getting another crew member because I lost that one. Alright, this is... Four boarders. Okay. And I'm down a border At the moment. Wait, what the heck? Why are they running? Okay. Well. Because I moved out... Oh, that's right. I moved out of the... Um, the door room. So these guys will have to run off to heal, but we're definitely killing these guys. Alright. You guys go heal. Just want to buy a little time here. Fortunately, hacking was level 2, so we had a little time. Pretty straightforward here. We got enough. Okay, you need to move out. You need to move in. Also, why is the oxygen off? I think it was Zoltan power shenanigans. Okay. 
Was this the room where the very ship we ran into had two beams? I think it was, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it was. I think it was. But yeah, second volley, I could potentially get a... I think you're right. I think second volley would work because especially if I knocked him down to like one shield bubble then the second we could volley and then have them charged up by the time the second glaive beam goes off I think that's right all right just getting everybody to full as I said I'm I, there's good odds I can get a crew member in this store which would be nice I'm a little low okay well more more battles here I would like to do the two battles and then the store even if that means hitting the rebels at the exit I'll just have to make sure I can get to the store all right Oof, mind control here. Do they have a teleporter? Oh god, this is this is not going to be pleasant. Okay. So let's make sure that we can do tons of damage when we hit them. Oh, we also lost door controls when they did that. Uh, okay. Alright, the good news is they're running around to, like, not the same room. Also, we can... I think we can open the doors on the ship. Do I have someone helping out over here? Uh, I hate to move out of the weapons room. You, you move into the weapons room. Okay, good. Uh, okay, okay. So you stay in there. You get back here. You get here. Because you're our actual weapons person. Uh, what are they doing in terms of weapons? We just have to cloak to dodge that. Definitely need to be running oxygen. Alright, I think we're just about through this. I probably should have level 2 oxygen. Alright. So we're going to need to cloak here. And now we'll use this. I could take this surrender offer, but no. Alright, so now we need to... Not die to these guys. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about the sh enemy ship anymore. Okay, we didn't really get that much from the surrender offer. We just have to kill these guys. Almost have one of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. One HP. I did not mean to cut it that close. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Almost lost my pilot there. He survived with one HP. Okay, I did not mean to cut it anywhere near that close. The oxygen drain uh, did a real number there. Okay, and now you survived on five. Jesus Christ. Can somebody kill these guys, please? Thank you. Oh, my God. This is so scary. <laughs> I think I need to upgrade oxygen to level two. <laughs> I think level 2 oxygen would be really helpful. <laughs> um, or just another crew member in general. Yeah, the mind control plus teleporting in, guys. Also, what the heck? Can we get a third shield bubble up? Why are we losing all of our shields here? Alright. Uh, yeah, you need to heal. I didn't. As a, I cannot believe it ended up getting that close. <laughs> I re like, if I lose crew here, then I, I actually could be in some real danger. Um... And one of them went to two, 1 HP, one of them went to 5 HP. I was like, oh my god. Not what I was expecting to have happen. Alright. We made it through, though. Uh, does the store get eaten up here? I think it doesn't, but in case it does, it's not worth the risk. We want to see it hit the store. So, we're not exactly hurting on scrap here. Okay. So, we can actually buy some crew. Uh, we have a stun bomb to sell. By the way, did it actually get swallowed up? Nope, we would have been okay to go to the store. We would have been okay, but that's fine. Alrighty, uh, yeah, so we could get some more, we kind of want more people who can fight. Does anyone have, um, shield skill? Alright, you have shield skill, so you'd be good to pick up as well. And then I might pick up this Lanius. Feels bad spending this much on crew, but we are way out in front of the curve. The, our only real weakness right now is our crew, so I think it's worthwhile to do this. Even though, as I said, I don't like spending this much on crew, but... I think we can afford it, so. Alright, you'll go in here, and then you will be on killing things duty. Uh, we, you know, this actually does effectively give us an extra reactor bar as well, so that's not bad. It, we effectively have, like, an extra 
reactor power here. Uh, we might as well get a little bit of repair job too. All right. Okay. And then now we just uh, try to upgrade. Oh. <laughs> all right, game. Rebel controlled. Let's go. This has been a red sector all the way through. We don't really need to buy anything at stores anymore. Now we just need fights and to upgrade. So uh, that leads nowhere. So we'll go this way. <laughs> all right. We want to upgrade uh, engine or uh, shields to level eight, and then damage buffer our systems and go from there. All right. Uh, we certainly could use hacking here, but I think we'll be okay without it. We probably just cloak when all these things fire simultaneously because it's a lot of projectiles. Uh, if they had four shield bubbles, I think I'd use hacking here, but I think we're okay. I, I don't think we're gonna run out of drone parts by any means, but yeah, we got through their shields anyway. And then the glaive beam kill shot. Uh, this isn't bad, we are low on fuel. Uh, do I take this because we're low on fuel? No, I'm gonna be greedy. Probably should have taken that. No, we got three fuel and we got 54 scrap, so that's cool. All right. We are just farming, farming, farming in this sector. Counterpoint pre-igniter. Okay. All right. Now, in this fight, we actually do want to hack the piloting because we want to make sure that they don't get away. Need to make sure they don't escape. So, we can fire. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Probably will have to dodge the missile with cloaking. Yeah. All right. Nope. Nope. Cloaking. All right. Got everything charged up. I'm gonna use hacking, and we're gonna fire on engines because we're basically guaranteed to take this out with. All of our shots. Oh, or we just have enough damage to kill them. I actually didn't know that we had enough damage to kill them, but that works too. All right. Uh, what puts us in better position? The the uh, they both lead to exactly the same spot, so it doesn't matter which one we go to first. Long range scanner. Feed me more scrap. All right. This one is. Uh, yeah, this one's a guaranteed hack because this will take way too long otherwise. By the way, it's always so nice when you can afford to put someone in the uh, sensor room so you can see the charge times. It makes it very easy to get cloaks off at exactly the right moment. I mean, you don't. it's kind of a luxury that you don't really need, but still. And we know that we can take everything out because we have hacking to guarantee that these shots hit. And that'll pop the shield bubbles, and that's all we really need here. Okay. Boop, boop. All them down, and now all your weapons and your drones are dead. So it'll take another volley to kill them, but does it matter? They can't hurt us anymore, so this battle's over. All right, let's see. So we're actually getting close to maxing out weapon skill. Again, it takes forever because the glaive beam only, you fire one shot, one kill for most of the, uh, the game. So it does take a very long time. All right, good job. All right, another 40 scrap. <laughs> okay. Here, here, and then here, and then up. Where I mean, this is exactly what we want. It's just fights, fights, fights. We don't really need to hit a store. As I said, we're just upgrading the ship. Uh, we should be okay. This doesn't look that scary. Probably just cloak when this goes off. But we'll see if we need to. Yeah, we do have 45% evasion, so we might not need to. Uh, okay, we're good. This won't fire until our shields are back up. Handy to know with the exact timing with the guy in the sensor room, as I said. It's a luxury that you usually can't afford. All right, well, that was not the greatest folly, but can still take out a lot of stuff, and we should be safe now. I don't think they can hurt us. Oh, this is a good chance to test out that second volley thing that we said, right? Yeah, there we go. We got a point of damage in. Nice. But I do believe that the whole laser will not be fully charged by the time the glaives back up. Yeah, it is pretty close, but... Okay. Nope. Alright, we still got him. Alright, 200 scrap. 
just far I literally feel like we're in farming mode right now. All right, the borders, okay, the borders are gonna make this definitely trickier. Three borders. At least they don't have a teleporter to bring anybody more over. All right, we're just gonna rumble with everybody. Let's go. What did they hack? Piloting? That's not good. And a boarding drone too? Okay. That's, uh, okay. Alrighty, well, if you guys are gonna deploy more resources, so will I. Uh, we definitely need a cloak here. Actually get an extra cloaking power point of cloaking here. We're killing one of these guys. All right, let's get everybody back to their spots. Um, except you can go kill this person. All right, and you go deal with them. Yeah, these borders are kind of annoying. Uh, you need to get out of there. <laughs> Jeez. I'll probably pull everybody except the Lanius out of there in a second or two. All right, anyway. Well, everything's up, so let's just fire away. A little more dangerous battle than I would have liked to have fought here. We did take out all our weapons. Okay. Uh, what's up with all the oxygen <laughs> being drained on this ship? Good news is they're all about to die. Yeah, they're all about to die, so. All right, there we go. Let's get everybody back to their normal spots. Wait, how did that shot get through? Oh, well. Maybe you should start fixing this. Anyway, they're pretty dead over there. I think I should probably upgrade oxygen. I definitely have the money to afford it. Also, what is with this combat drone? Combat 2 drone. It is just firing like a maniac over there. Uh, all right, let's get out of this battle. This is a pretty nasty fight. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take Oxygen and upgrade that to level 2, because uh, Oxygen Drain has been a bit of an issue in some of these fights. Yeah, we've definitely collected a lot of scrap on this run. Alright, now we got to heal everybody. A couple of these fights, my crew have been like one step away from death. Un one unfortunate thing about the med bay being in this corner is you can't really run characters in and out of the med bay. Like, you can often have like three people in the med bay by running them in and out, and I think that you, there's a way to do that. This, in terms of this micro as well. Also, let's have you stand down in this corner because I don't like having oxygen drain in the dead center of the ship. When people are running to other corners, they often run through there. You can just hang out down there for the time being. All right. All right, we still have tons of scrap to deal with. Um, if I don't see a store here, I'll upgrade shields to fourth shield bubble after this. All right, powers up and target you, okay. Or shield bubbles. Good thing we have the tools we need to deal with that. We got everything we need. I'm just gonna cloak past this. We can afford to do the heavy cloak this time to allow time for the glaive to charge. Whoop, there you go. All the time. This is like old times, right? This is like the beginning of the game. Waiting, 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 waiting for the glaive beam to charge. Oh, really? You're still... You didn't depower you? Okay, whatever. I was hoping that that would depower, but... It does mean we need to put up the defensive drone. Again, I think we have enough drone parts so we don't have to worry too much, but... It would have been nice not to have to use a drone part there. As it is, though, we definitely need to. Alright. Are we going to shoot this down? Or we have to cloak? Okay, we are going to shoot it down. Anyway, they have no evasion, so easy win. Did our defensive drone get blown up? Uh, let's see. Sure. 
We'll get one extra. We can use a one drone to get an extra fleet jump. That's nice. If it gets us an extra encounter, it's okay. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> Double stores, but the stores are in very inaccessible locations. We'll probably skip this one. All right, well, let's head up here. Oh, this is all a giant dead end up here. Okay. Well, I'm glad I've got that extra fleet jump then. I can probably try to go here, 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 and then down. Okay. Not sure that there's really... Uh, again, I don't know that we even need to go to the store. I don't know if there's anything we really need there. But anyway, yeah, getting that extra jump uh, is really nice in terms of fleet pursuit. Oh, and we even got the sell useless missiles for more scrap option. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well, let's start doing our standard thing of damage buffering these extra these systems. And actually, you know what? No, undo. Let's upgrade the backup battery first. That's going to be most helpful, I think. You know, I might just skip the store and just hit all these encounters, because I just want more scrap. Buy a fourth weapon slot, I know, yeah, right? <laughs> Go to the store and buy another weapon slot. We uh, might actually have a chance to max out engines in this game, but I'm going to go for the other upgrades first, because we have gotten a tremendous amount of scrap in this game. Now that we have the upgrade... Uh, by the way, they, oh, what am, I, what am I doing? They don't have any shields. We don't have to wait, we can just fire as soon as the weapons are charged. How can a ship in Sector 7 have no shields? Alright, well we probably need to cloak this, but yeah, let's just not fool around here. That's not with you, it's like you forgot to bring something. Hey Empowers, first time chat. Cool to see you playing FTI, I read your ship guides when I got into the game. Cool, thanks. Yeah, I don't play as much anymore, but that's largely because I played this game so much. Uh, I've just played a ton. But uh, it's still really fun. Oh, this could be a double scrap reward, too. Alright, well, once again, four shield bubbles means we're 100% gonna hack this. Oh, we got a boarding drone. Okay. Wait, where did... Oh, they shot down, oh, they shot down my boarding drone, didn't they? Or they shot down my hacking drone. I needed to do the depower trick. Okay. Good news is, um, we do have a, something that's really good at fighting the boarding drone, and that's a Lanius crew member. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it did get through. Ah, whoops. Well, now I have a hack at the wrong time. Oops. Well, I thought it got shot down. That's my bad. That's okay. We'll just have to fire normally, and our hacking was just wasted. Uh, all right. So they're firing the burst. Now would be a good time to cloak. Drones, you should get out of here. All right, yeah, hacking's not up, unfortunately. So, just gotta fire normally. Looks like we hit three out of four shots. That's not bad. Oh, we also need to do this. You can get in there and finish that guy off. Not bad, we did a lot of damage. Okay. You can run in there and repair that because you don't care about oxygen. Oh, I could have fired while... Yeah, I could have actually fired here and done that extra volley that we've talked about. Alright, we definitely don't need this. But uh, I do have hacking available. So this will make sure that you're, these shots hit and you're dead. Okay, that went pretty well. And we got the double scrap award. Jesus, we are rich in this game. I have rarely been this rich in an FTL game. Feels like we're playing on uh, easy difficulty where the scrap flows like uh, rain from the sky. <laughs> anyway, love when these guys spawn in asteroid fields without shields. Yeah, it's re reassuring to know the rebel ship designs are so incompetent. I realized that was for the last fight, but yeah. All right, uh, well, we've already damage buffered every system, so... Um, and we can get some more reactor power. I think we try to max out engines then. Because, like, we kind of have the... We can always get more reactor power, but I think we actually can go for... I don't know if we'll be able to max it out completely, but we could try to go for it. We can also get some more reactor bars, but we've already damage buffered every system, and we still have more fights to do. Anyway, so we have to go here. Yeah, we're skipping the store. We're just trying to get more fights. We're just trying to, I don't know, pimp out this sh ship as much as possible. Uh, let's see. They only have three shield bubbles. We can probably make do without hacking here. I, I, again, I'm probably not going to run out of drone parts, but... All right, uh, let's just make sure. We'll, we'll cloak here if we have to. Let's see if we have to. Looks like we're good. 
All right, if we have a terrible first volley, then I'll probably use hacking after that. I am aware that they have a chain laser that can get spun up here, but I also have um, cloaking. All right. Now, what, are they going to cloak again here? I think that they're about to cloak again. I'm going to wait. I was right. I was like, I think they're going to cloak again. All right. So far, they're not having much luck at hitting us. Okay. All right. One more. Nice. Three out of four hit. That's really good. So they're dead now. We just need one. Oh, man. The, the shield bubble popped at the last second. Otherwise, they would have died there. But uh, the good news is I can fire another volley as soon as these are off cooldown. And they have no evasion, so it's guaranteed to hit. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Let's ignore the previous four realities where we got owned. Uh, yeah, no one paying any attention to that. Okay, what's the best way to path through here? I think it's to go here, 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 and then up to the exit, I think. Or do I lose this one? This only leads to the exit, right? Yeah. Well, this leads directly to the exit, so it might be better to go do these. I think it's better to do these two, and then here, here, and then down here. So let's try this. Oh, it's a pulsar. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, the good news is we have we can cloak to dodge whatever, and they have a Vulcan, which is like a, such a terrible weapon. Where are they? In they're in this room right here. Okay. Actually, yeah, we can. Oh, hello. Uh. Forgot to realize they could fire both those weapons at the same time. Haha. -ha. And then let's not mess around here. Let's just make sure we get a great first volley. Yep. All right. Go heal. Hope you like not breathing. Okay. Uh, okay. Goodbye, weapons. Oh, I'm actually going to take out their cloning bay over there. Well... There goes all, everything except a basic laser over there. And they teleport their guys back. Uh, we should have oxygen on now. So they're pretty screwed. Actually, this should kill them. Only needed to get one damage through. Nice. All right. Uh, let's, so this is a chance to get here without a fight, but we do want to fight, so, and this gives us one more jump, but I don't think we need one more jump at this point, so we'll just take the fight, we're fine with that. All right. Okay, that's not dangerous. I'm just going to cloak when this fires, okay. There we go. Could have tried to cloak to dodge this, but I'm just not that worried about this ion charger. They don't have enough, like, they don't have a ton of lasers here, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, now they did actually get a lot of ionization through, but... Again, if this volley sucks, then... Alright, we have to put up a defensive drone. Oh wait, no, they have cloaking, they're gonna cloak again, I have to wait. I have to wait until after they cloak. Yep. Alright, save myself some time there, that would have been bad. I gotta remember that the glaive beam timing does not line up very well with enemy cloaking. Kind of have to wait for them to cloak twice and then get it off. All right, uh, we definitely want to cloak this, but we're about to run out of backup battery, so. There we go, all right. Uh, let's go. Well, that was, uh, that was a volley that certainly happened. <laughs> all right. All right, well, because we whiffed everything, we'll use a hacking drone. <laughs> It's like, well, that was a volley that certainly happened. Good thing I have all these tools, though, to work around the bad RNG. Also, we need defensive drone back. There we go. <laughs> all right. Well, we didn't get anything else, but it is what it is.
All right. I, wow, that's a lot of missiles over there. So we do have to use hacking this time because we have to make sure that they don't run away. Um, ah, shoot, but I think they're going to get their... Okay, I actually think I have to play this in a slightly unusual way. Because I remember I, I'm going to need to... Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to hack them right now just so that they don't run away and then I'm just this is gonna buy some time because it's gonna buy time to charge and then by the time that um geez that's a lot of missiles um oh shoot we lost our shield bubble apparently they have a lot of bombs over there we might as well repair the oxygen because why not um because I have to wait for their I have to wait for them to cloak, and then after they come back from cloak, we'll hit this again. And Jesus, there's a lot of... A lot of missiles they have over there. We're, we've actually dodged them reasonably well. Alright. So, yeah, the hacking should be back up by the time that they come out of this cloak. Alright. Ah, uh, my cloaking was wasted because I was using backup battery power. Okay, I should have thought about that. Oh well. And um, we don't have the defensive drone powered, so this is not going to be great. Oh well. Okay. Alright, jeez, that was a nasty ship. Fortunately, we'll get the guaranteed heal at the end of this sector, but that was not an easy ship at all. We also got, like, nothing for killing it. 20 scrap in sector 7 is pretty pathetic. That was a nasty ship. Yeah, I had pretty good luck, honestly. My RNG was pretty good in that fight for me. Pretty lucky, in all honesty. All right. Get back to our normal spots then. But, I mean, it's still extra scrap, and we get the free heal at the end of this sector, so... We were able to hit everything... Like, we were able to hit, like, eight or nine encounters in this sector, so that's quite good. All right, uh, while we're here... Yeah, we all we, we just need 60 more scrap to get engines fully upgraded and then some reactor power so we can actually use it. All right. Hopefully we're okay with this ship. Um, boy, the double burst twos is pretty scary though. I'm not gonna lie. I actually think I should use a hacking drone just because I don't want to deal with double burst twos and they have cloaking as well. I want to make sure my first volley kills this ship. This is uh, pretty scary. That's a lot of shots there. Unfortunately, because of cloaking, I have to wait um, until their second volley before I can fire at them. Yeah, this is this is probably going to hurt. This is when it's nice having 51% dodge chance, I won't lie. I only got one shot through. Not bad. So they're going to cloak again, and then we'll hit them when we come out of the cloak. Yeah, upgrading engines this high... Uh, it's pretty rare you have the scrap that you can afford to do that. Fortunately, we have cloaking back up again, so we can cloak through this. A nasty ship with all these... But, like, I don't want to mess around here. I want to make sure that I'm dodging. Yeah, look at that. Jesus. Nasty ship. Firing eight shots constantly on a short cooldown. One of the designs I want to have. All right, 38 scrap. We'll just repair the oxygen. Yeah, it is interesting that the auto scouts tend to be by far the most dangerous at the end of the game. All right, back to the exit. But with level seven engines and level three cloaking, dodging the rebels is like not not very difficult. All right, uh, we'll just turn on backup battery power right away. Get those engines running, and then we can just use level three cloaking, and we're out of here without much trouble. FTL drive charges very fast with level seven engines. All right, we're out of here. Uh, level six engines gets you out before the ASB fires. Level seven is starting to get excessive. All right, whatever. Sector seven Lanius bombers are the scariest. You might well be right. I don't see the Lanius in sector seven that often. All right, let's go. I'd like to hit at least one repair if I could, but one of the three already got taken over on the first turn. All right, this will get us enough scrap to upgrade engines to level 8, and then we just want more reactor power so we can actually run it. All right. Um, I think we need... 
yeah, I'd really like to hit a repair station so I could get some more drone parts, but I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, you can come over here, and then you get ready to swap in afterwards. I am glad I bought those crew members, though. I'd be hurt, hurting a little bit on crew otherwise, I think. Yeah, they have the Vulcan, which we know the Vulcan is, you know, the game's most troll weapon, but still. Better not to mess around too much and let that thing get spun up. Better just to kill them quickly. All right. All right, so there goes all their shields. And pretty much wipes them out, more or less. Uh, I don't think they can hurt me anymore. All right, pilot, get back over there. I realize I could have fired another volley, but I'd rather just take them out when the glaive is fully recharged. Taking out their cloning bay is nice too, because anyone who died wasn't going to come back to mess with me again. All right, goodbye. Alrighty, good battle. Didn't get much scrap from it, but... Not often you get the level 8 engines. Wait, is everybody back in their spots? No, they were not. I didn't think they were. Alright, now we'd really like some more reactor power. Because if the backup battery's on cooldown, we have nowhere near enough. And I would like to hit a repair station just to get more drone parts if I could. Alright, another auto scout. Okay. Only three shield bubbles, though. If you're going to wait for the glaive beam anyway, you can hack shields and beam piloting. That's true. But I don't have fully upgraded... Uh, I don't have level 3 hacking. I only have level 2 hacking. Alright. Fortunately, most of these weapons are not synced together. So they're kind of not firing at the same time. For the most part. I'm re prepared to use cloaking if I have to here. Alright, they're going to cloak again. They might use cloaking to sync all their weapons together. Nope, they did not do that. As they often do. Oh, nice. We hit three out of the four shots. That's what we needed. Goodbye piloting now. All right. Yeah, we're pretty hard to hit. Uh, we do have 55% evade if we use uh, max out all our engines here. Oh, you have no evasion, so you're dead to this folly. There we go. Always feels kind of weak when I'm not using the... There we go. That's what we want. All right. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's even a store here. I think we have to hit the store... Just to get drone parts, I think. Yeah, I think I have to for drone parts, if nothing else. This is a slim picking store, but it does have two drone parts. I could buy another crew member. Well, I could have if I didn't. Maybe it would have been better to buy another crew member. Oh well, too late for that now. That was not the most effective... Uh, store, but there wasn't much there. I mean, do I have anything to sell? I really don't have anything to sell. It's kind of a disappointing store, but at least we can get another reactor bar. Okay. Ah, shoot. They're about to take control of this. Well, we'll go back to here then. There's no point in going to one that the rebels are going to take over. You don't get anything for winning that. All right. Uh, we're getting boarded. Uh, I don't want to deal with Alright, I'll... S no, you know what? I can put the defensive turn up. I need it for this anyway. I need it for these missiles anyway. But it does mean I'm going to try to avoid uh, hacking if I can avoid it. Alright, we seem good so far. Can you shoot down the boarding drone? There we go. Alright, we only got... Two out of three. Only got there's still two shield bubbles left, but we'll still get what damage we can. It helps just to start knocking their systems down. Because like now they're down to three shield bubbles instead of four. Okay, this is not gonna get hit by uh this is not gonna get blocked by our defensive drone, so we'll just cloak through the missile. Oh, never mind, I thought it wasn't gonna stop it, but it did. Alright. Not, again, not a great volley. You can see the difference when we use hacking versus when we don't use hacking. I just don't think that this ship is that dangerous. Well, we'll get the 55% of aid. So even if we... Uh, we actually dodge that on our own, even without 
the extra shield bubble. Boy, we're shooting down a lot of stuff, aren't we? Shot down a lot of boarding drones. Oh, they have a system repair drone. That's why they're getting everything repaired so quickly. They have cloaking back up again, so that's good. Can just cloak the next missile that we need to dodge. So we're wearing this ship down. There we go. Better volley. Three out of four. All right, and we might as well cloak them because. Okay, well that wasn't much in terms of scrap rewards, but. All right, we'll take it. Still twenty nine scrap. All right. We gotta head over to the base now. Hopefully we can get these last two fights, but we'll see. All the repair stations got taken out, but nine drones should be plenty to finish the game. Not, not, oh, she, ooh, a shield hack, that's dangerous. Okay, because of that, um, we can't mess around. We have to make sure that our shots hit. That's actually pretty dangerous. Uh, okay, so the way that we get through this is we just cloak. We just do an extended cloak so that the our shields are back up. I actually did not have to use a hacking drone here, I don't think, but whatever, it's fine. We, we, we have enough. We'll just kill them here. They don't have cloaking on that ship, no. Oops. Wait. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Yep, that would have been dangerous, but I actually don't think I had to use a hacking drone here. I think I could have played around it. Still, better safe than sorry. No reason to be uh, too concerned here. All right. Oh, 65. Okay, let's go. Now we actually have like enough power to run the super engines here. Okay. And we managed to get, like, every encounter down here on the bottom side of the map. They were not swallowed up by the uh, AI. Okay, that looks kind of scary, but we'll see what happens. Wish I had, like, a Mantis. Would be nice. All right. Uh, we'll see if we can do this without hacking. Even though it would be probably a lot safer. All right, hopefully this gets shot down. If it doesn't, we'll cloak, but it did. I mean, the 55% evade is pretty good. Nice, good first volley. That means you're dead for all intents and purposes. All right, get out of there. They retreated anyway. Go heal. I probably should get the super med bay next, the, the tier three med bay. I actually forgot the defensive drone was still up. <laughs> Good job shooting down that missile that I was definitely not paying attention to. Anyway, you can get back to your stations now. Also, yes, I'm very glad I bought that crew earlier. Oh, here comes another missile. Well, we can cloak this if we have to. Uh, I think I'm just going to cloak it. All right, defensive drone got it anyway. All right, that's nice. So let's get the super med bay and more reactor power. We have an awful lot of scrap, don't we? All right, let's go. Phase one. Unfortunately, the cloaking is going to be annoying here. All right, piloting is not great to have hacked, but it could be worse. Worse would have been weapons. Worse would have been weapons. We can we can do this, even though it's going to cut into our evade. Oh, we also want to. Make sure that we can get this through. All right. All right. Uh, might as well use this. Why not? We actually have more reactor power than we need at the moment. Okay, defensive drone. Slow down there. So yeah, unfortunately we have to wait until they cloak a second time to fire our volley. We would have 55% evade, but we only have 45% because of that. All right, still looking pretty good. We'll get them as soon as they come out of their cloak. Yeah, the hacking is not great. 
Uh, defensive drones up, but we don't have cloaking, unfortunately. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna hit us. All right, just do this. Yeah, unfortunately, the timing was not great. At least we can take out the missile launcher, but I'm not surprised some of them got through. If they hadn't hacked engines, we probably could have dodged some of that, but they did hack engines. We did not quite have cloaking back up fast enough. We're also not going to kill any crew on this phase. As I said, this is not a good ship for crew kills. But uh, at least the cloaking timings won't be as bad after that first one. It's like they're going to cloak and then we'll hit them as soon as they come out of the cloak. They should not be able to get another missile swarm off, I don't think. Yeah, we're ready to hit them as soon as they come out of this. Ugh, of course, no evasion. But we have cloaking ready. All right. We might as well cloak here, I guess. There we go. Okay, only needed two volleys to kill them. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I think the third phase is going to be the tricky one because our crew, our, our anti-fighting enemy crew situation is not great. We do have the super med bay. I'll probably have to pull the, that retreat maneuver that I've done so many times before. Oh, there's another chance to fight. Okay. <laughs> Got a chance for another fight. Let's go for it. <laughs> Force shield bubbles means yes to hacking. And then I am cutting it a little close on the hacking drones, but I, again, I think I'll be okay. You're going to need to get out of there. I have my poor little Zoltan. Uh, nothing that they have can really hurt us at the moment. Good news is you will heal back to full in like an instant because we have the super med bay. Okay. So far their weapons can't really hurt us either. Yeah, why don't you go back up there? Okay. All right. Uh, there we go. Oops, other way. Okay, no, they just retreated, okay. So you go up here, we'll heal you up super fast. Yeah, they can't really hurt us. All right, back to your station. Why don't you heal as well while we have a second here? You're not gonna depower anything too important? Okay. All right, we should be good here. I mean, we have so much evasion, it's very hard for them to hit us. And you guys are dead. 66 scrap. Oh my god. Okay. The full reactor. <laughs> the reactor bar of shame. This is a very upgraded ship. <laughs> uh, I guess if I have to upgrade anything else, I guess I'd do the super doors, I guess. My god. We actually have like so much power. We like have more than we even know what to do with. It's incredibly rare for you to see this in one of my games. Yeah, so we're gonna fight them here. Alrighty. Yeah, we uh, we have actually have an ex we actually have too much reactor power here. But the good news is we can fully power all these systems right now. Probably have too much reactor power. I just really wanted to get the super, wanted to have level eight engines and the fully maxed reactor. Plus, when we power the backup battery it's pretty nice all right now we don't have to worry about cloaking shenanigans from them in this phase we'll try to save our cloaking for when uh i wish we could knock out their missile but they're gonna get a chance to fire first unfortunately and we need to save the our cloaking for the drone surge i think although maybe we could actually get through both of them if we do a long cloak i think we can actually get through it and we have the reactor power to spare so we might as well all right. Now, of course, when I fire my weapons, it cuts into my cloaking time. Uh, 
Ah, we only did two damage to piloting. That's a shame. I should have done the extra. I should have done the level three cloaking, not level two. I forgot that when I fire my weapons, it cuts down on my cloaking time. Good news is though, we do have 55% of aid, so the drone surge is not really doing anything. Our defensive drone died, which is concerning in the sense that we only have four drones remaining. <laughs> Nice. Well, 55% of aid is 55% of aid. It's pretty good. There we go. We got the last bar down. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect phase two. Alright. 44. Uh, oh, we can't upgrade doors. We could upgrade sensor. <laughs> we could upgrade sensors. I don't think that's going to help us, though. Uh, man, I wish I had enough scrap to upgrade doors. The super doors are actually kind of nice. Alright. So, I fight these guys here, and we're probably going to jump back to the base here. I think we're probably going to pull, because we're just not well suited to deal with borders, but uh, we'll see. I'll start the battle as though I'm going to be fighting these guys. Just queue up our weapons for the moment. Because they have the Zoltan shield. Alright. Oh, they're in the med bay. That's actually pretty good. Go fight these guys in the med bay. But I still think we're probably going to jump away. Oh wait, actually, well, we have we don't have the FTL drive charging because we have nobody in the piloting room. We need somebody in there. Actually, this might. Uh, I was thinking about cloaking, but I, I'd like I want them to teleport two more guys over to me, and they can't teleport over if I'm cloaked. We are killing them in the med bay pretty pretty good here, so maybe we actually are okay. Oh wait, but you need to get out of there. We need somebody to run. You are just a. We just need a spare body to run in here. Yeah, I think we'll just. No need to make this more complicated than it has to be. I think we'll just dodge out of here. Yeah, this is a good time to cloak. We'll just cloak for the time being. So let that wear off. Let the mind control wear off. Mind control wear off. Okay. That works. Yeah, we'll just kill these guys. Again, it's just a little safer to do it this way. It, it takes some of the challenge out of the battle, which is a shame, but... Well, actually, you know what? We're kind of in decent shape here. Maybe we can just kill these guys here. Honestly, we might be okay. Ah, screw it. We'll just we'll just kill him now. <laughs> As I said, we're in pretty good shape. We got through their shielding. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're still killing these guys. You're almost full health. Um, just get back to the the super med bay does make it a lot easier to deal with these guys. Uh, and our weapons are all good. Uh, we're going to lose back up battery power, so that's... We have to use ra actual power for the weapons here. I actually think... You know what? Let's... Uh, can I hit shields, weapons, and mind control? I'd actually really like to take out mind control here. Let's do this. I really want to hit mind control. I don't want to get mind controlled again. It's actually uh, was causing some real problems there. <laughs> And you are almost done repairing cloaking. Alright, you need to go heal in the super med bay. You too, heal in the super med bay. Alright, uh, so defensive drones. We do not have cloaking up. So we will want to put that up for the time being. Oh, hello. Well, let's get what defense we can. This is going to hurt. But not as much as I thought it might. That actually wasn't that bad. And we almost have this all charged up and ready. Alright, Super Med Bay, do your thing. Heal my people. Yeah, not having the mind control to worry about is actually pretty nice. I'm, I'm kind of glad I focused that system, even though it's not one I typically focus. But uh, it makes sense here because it's the crew that was causing problems for me. Alright, well, I think this kills him. 
Alright, we didn't need to run away. We only took one point of damage in this battle. Good stuff. Yay! Alright. Really nice, yeah. We only took one point of damage in that whole phase of the battle, so not bad. Not bad. Oh, you're trying to predict what my uh, scrap total is? I think it's right around 6,000. I think it's right around 6,000. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, the score, 7,100. Okay. That's actually apparently on my high score list. Jeez. But I, yeah, I think the... Oh, wait, no. Scrap, I'm, I'm thinking of score. Um, The scrap total should be 20... Uh, I'd say 2,100 scrap. I'll say 2,100 scrap for the stats, yeah. Uh, no, 2479. Oh my god. <laughs> 2479. Holy cow. Wow, that was uh that was a lot of scrap. Um this I have had higher scores than this. This high score list has been reset before, but wow, 7168 scrap. Jeez, most ships defeated. Yeah, I think I have higher than that. Again, this is a I think I have more than that on another install. Um, I've had this on a number of different laptops over the year, but still, yeah. Okay, so yes, when Stealth B wins, it wins. That's right. This is a ship that caps out pretty high. The only thing that it's missing is um, it doesn't have the fourth slot. It only has three weapon slots, but it does cap out pretty high as far as um, the ships go because the Glaive is very good for late game. And if you hit the... Um, like, you do start the game with long-range scanner, so you're going to get a lot of fights if you have this, but... Still, geez, 63 ships defeated, 2479. I thought I was at, I guess I did have an insane amount of upgrades in this one. And it was a seven red sector run too, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> what a ride between all those, uh, the, uh, between failing four times in a row and then having this one that just got out in front of the curve early and just stomped. Uh, yeah, win big or go home, GG. Well, I'm going to put some of this footage up on YouTube. I'm going to put in some of the failed runs and the... Uh, and the successful run, because <laughs> they make for a great contrast. Yeah, the, I mean, the difference was this ship had a really, really good Sector 1 and Sector 2. We had like three different encounters that were double scrap rewards, and uh, I was able to get the level 3 cloaking really fast, and then I was able to get the, uh, the shields before the end of Sector 2. I actually think I got them like in the first third of Sector 2. And uh, I'm just out in front of the curve, and I'm snowballing, snowballing, snowballing. Um, I think we made some good choices. I didn't see many weapons in this game. It's really good that I purchased the Burst 2 laser when I had the opportunity, because I really did not hit a lot of stores, and the stores I did hit didn't have much in the way of weapons. So I got exactly enough weapons. Um, I'm glad I bought the crew, the two crew members, when I did, because I needed them at the end of the game. And we just got so much scrap that uh, the ship got disgustingly updated. So, anyway, that's that. As Grillo said, those timelines died so this one could thrive. What, are we playing In the Breach? <laughs> it's like an In the Breach uh, game, which I have played, but I do not enjoy as much as FTL. All right, well, uh, that's a great place to stop at the end of this streaming session. So it was a fun day for FTL. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to try to be back with another turn-based strategy game uh, next week and do start a new Civ Fridays game. So thanks so much for all of you tuning in. I hope your weekend's off to a great start, and uh, I'll see you next week. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.